I think you might be on those days today because I was listening to um, Vanessa Feltz this morning on the way in and she said, morning, 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 here's some music. And then she went, Mark, there's no music. Mark's a producer, I think. There's no music. Which button do I press? And then he had to come into the studio and go, you press this button, Vanessa. Well, no, I pressed that button. It doesn't work. So I'm thinking that might start the whole day off. Anyway, Victoria Peters in the house. She's got some gorgeous, gorgeous products. Would you like to have a look at today's menu? I think you should. Here it is. Uh, it's called Quilt. It's so much more than just Quilt, Victoria Pete. Uh, 9 o'clock, Fabulous Premier Fabrics. 10 o'clock, Bag Boutique with Victoria. 11 o'clock, Fab... I've got two hours of Premier Fabrics day. Now, let me just show you. Let me just show you. This is the quilt as you go that Victoria's doing. It's just gorgeous. And look at all the um, detail with the fussy cutting and everything. Now, we've got that in two different colorways. This is the first show. This is our first show. We've got it in two different colorways. Now, what I have to do is I have to put that, that over there because Victoria's got to hang it on the wall. Then, at 9 o'clock, got Premier Fabrics. This is one of them. This is Ship Ahoy. Oh, I'll open it. Yes, now, Hannah, yesterday afternoon when we were prepping, was like, oh, look, wine bottles, John. No, Hannah. Ship in a bottle. I might have to sing. Oh, no, they go all, all going all multi-directional. Oh, hang on. No, I... no, hang on. First. There you go. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, so it has got a direction then. And we're all like, no, it's multi-directional. Multi it has got a direction. And anyway, it's lovely. Isn't it? so, that's just one of the many. I'll say... <laughs> Michael. <laughs> they don't break. <sighs> Haley bought those from, from off the internet, right? And they stink of cats. Um, Lottie. Now, last time we brought the book that this comes from, it was Victor, with Victoria Pink. Must have been with either, was it with Amy or was it with Natasha? Natasha. Natasha. Completely sold out, completely sold out. We've got the book back in, and this time we've got the Margaret to show you. We've got the Margaret kit, which is the one that sold out last time, and this is the Lotte, 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 Lotte. Anyway, we'll show you the book. It's beautiful. It's got, I love this bit. I love, and I came in earlier, and cameraman Mike was like doing this, walking around like this with her. He does like that. Well, no, he's more like that. Anyway, that's that, that's that, that's that. Oh, no, that goes. And then at 11 o'clock, I know you're going to go crazy for this. You are going to go crazy. Heavy cotton, very wide, very badly cut here at the top, but yours won't be. Oh, look! Look at all that fabric. It's beautiful. Now, we did have one recently uh, with that was more tropical than that, but it's sold out, sold out, sold out. Lorraine's going to love that. Uh, that's a lovely heavyweight cotton. That's coming up at 11 o'clock. Right, before I show you the uh, quilt, I think I'm going to show you the bundles. Oh, no, 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 I've got loads. I've got loads to tell you, first of all. Right, first of all, you can get in touch. It's because I've got Laurel and Hardy in my, in my, in my house. Right, they've broken the thing. You know, we have the quilt hanging all. They've broken that. So now Victoria's trying to help Chris to find something to hang the quilt on to and everything. And it's like, it's like they've got a stepladder between them and they're doing, they're doing all that, you know. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, Michael's got in to help now, so anything can happen. Right, so where do I start? Getting in touch. If you want to get in touch, the best thing to do is go to the website, uh, www.sewingquarter.com. Uh, now, if you uh, press on Watch Today's Show, there you go. And then if you just scroll down the page, now you see on the right-hand side, message the studio. Uh, Keep it short, keep it sweet, because you do run out of letters. At your end, you can keep typing as long as you like, but at our end, only a few letters, you know, like 140 characters come through. Uh, while we're there, look at Products Today Show. It's empty already. I'm running a bit late today. Uh, as I bring you pieces on air, they will appear there with their products, or with their kits, whether they're sewing machines, whether they're scissors, whatever, whatever. They'll appear there. You can click on them later on and put them in your basket. Talk about putting them in your basket. Uh, at the top of the page, right, where it says add to your basket, normally you'd see something in that square there, but because we're not selling anything yet, there's nothing there. Um, you can also email. If you want to get in touch with send pictures in, send pictures of your quilt as you go, send pictures of anything you made, any Christmas decoration, anything you made, studio at sewingquarter.com. Studio at sewingquarter.com is the email address. Also, if you've got a longer question, 
they'd send it, send, send it there. Now there's something else I've got to tell you about, and you need to go to the website again for it. You know all of our Christmas panels? This one, for instance. What, look at the web. Have a look at the web. Now, on the front page, look, 40% off Christmas panels. Shop now. Click on there, and you'll see all the panels that are for sale for stockings, for advent calendars, just Christmas panel fabrics. They're all 40% off. 40% off. So this is the first of them that I'm going to show. I'm obviously not going to show you everything. I'll move around, don't you like that there? There you go. Oh, wrong way. There you go. 40% off Christmas panels. So now, where's the, well, it was. Okay, the whole point of those graphics is to say it was 6 99 and it's now £4.19. But if you go to the website, you'll see all of them. Uh, that makes this one, this traditional... Now, obviously, you don't get the backing fabric with all the ribbons, but that's what you can make out of that one, the traditional um, stocking one. Was six ninety nine, now £4.19. That's it made up, obviously, with a backing fabric and a ribbon and things like that, but you don't get that. You get the panel. Right, so we're ready. Right, let me go through, then, the two bundles. Let's do take that there. The two bundles that I've got. Now, the bundle I've already shown you. <laughs> I told you. It was going to be one of those days, didn't I? Is that Vanessa Feltz in the corner there? No, it's Chris. Um, right, this is gorgeous, isn't it? So this is the Peacock and Pear Rolling Stone Quilt Kit, right? So what you get in that kit is you get uh, five and a half metres of fabric. So it goes like this. It goes half a metre of the, the pale blue, half a metre of the dark blue, and a metre of the cream. That's all the peacock and pear um, fabrics. And then you've got coral, metre and a half. Is that right? And a metre and a half of the blue. And the thread. And the quilt as you go. £55.99. So everything, everything you need to make that quilt that I've just shown you, £55.99. I also have a CAFE version as well. So again, uh, you get the quilt as you go. You get the thread. Now, uh, Hannah will have to give me the breakdown of this one because I didn't go through this one in a second. But you've got gorgeous, bright. Now, this is the one that Victoria's going to be demonstrating with. 57 pounds and 49 pence. So you've got this really lovely, bold. I'll just show it to you because it's quite a, big, quite a big pattern, this one. So you get a metre of the cave a metre of that gorgeous cave. Then you get half a metre of the bright blue, half a metre of the um, raspberry spot, and then a metre and a half of the yellow, and a metre and a half of the paler blue spot. That's for your backing and your sashing, and then the others, the others as well. You also get your thread, and you get your quilts to go, 57 pounds and 49 pence. So should we get going? Oh no, no, before we do that, no. She's saying yes, but no, I've got something else to do. If you want to buy this on its own, if you've already got your stash of fabric and you want to make one of these on its own, you can buy the quilt as you go, as you like, as you, as, on its own. Go on, touch, touch, It's called Rolling Stone. There's six panels in there. Uh, Victoria will explain all that to you in a minute. Eight pounds and 99 pence. Right, now I can go over and greet Victoria. I've left a right old mess there. <laughs> it's been forever. It's been a really long time. Since I've seen you. How are you? Oh, very well. Thank I like you. the new hair. Oh, the new thank hair's you very, very much. Short. Chopped a fringe in. Yes. Um, no Christmas jumper, though, this time. Last well, time you were on, I saw on Instagram you had a Christmas jumper. Yeah, on. I know. And my husband thought it was really cheesy. Oh, pff, what does he know? I know. Bar humbug. Never mind. Well, no. neither of us done Christmas today. No, anyway. it's not Christmas. Because it's not today. a Christmas, no. is it? No. So. That is love. I love yes. it. I love it, love it, love it. I, I just... really love the print. The, yes. The, the, the pears have got a slight golden... It's, they have, don't they? Like it's not a foil, but it's like a sheen, isn't it, yeah. they've got there. It's really I nice. also think, normally, I wouldn't mix three of the same fabric in different colours together, yeah. and yet... They work really well they together. They work really well. And then you've got the... I don't know what you call them, the star pointy bits around the outside, yep. and the plane just works really beautifully. Now, my first question is... Do you have to make it 
as you've made it there, or can you swap and change you some of the fabrics? You can swap some though? of the fabrics around. You can swap around, what did we decide? That we could swap around this central panel, which is the, what are we calling it? Turquoise, aqua, turquoise, aqua yeah. with the navy. You can swap those two around. So if you wanted a darker centre one, you could do. You could do that. You have to use the cream one. Where it is. For there. But you could also swap. Don't we touch decided. it. <laughs> it's got <laughs> coral on the back. I'll take it off in a minute. It's got coral on the back. <laughs> You could, sw you could swap the coral and the blue round. So yes, if you, you wanted could. coral sashing and binding. Which would be nice because that would pick up the coral colour in, in the, the neck on yes, the white. Yes, exactly. Yeah. OK, let's get started. Now, obviously, this one is a completely different story because yes. the fabrics are completely different, aren't they? It's a much bolder, brighter pop of colour. So this is the sample. So the, the pack, if you haven't seen a quilt as you go before, uh, John, you had the, the package in there. It comes as a big piece of pre-printed wadding. And this oh, you've is, got one this open. is the you've wadding that I've had open and I've chopped out of this two of the pre-printed right. sections. So you've got the wadding um, in one big piece, uh, which is a bit difficult to see actually, yeah. isn't it? Because it's quite light. Oh, but yeah. um, you chop around each of the blocks that are pre-printed and you chop off one inch around. So that's what I've done here. Oh, I got so oh, just have a look at the... Um, sorry, oh, I'm the going too fast. Oh, they said they were. There you go, there you go. So you can just see the lines on there. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. So that's what I've done here now, on this one. Oh yes, brilliant. Now the, <coughs> excuse me. Um, this one's a bit different to some of them because you've got dotted lines and you've got solid lines. Yes, this one isn't a beginner's quilt as you go. Oh, okay. Because I think quilt as you go is always a really lovely project if you've not done quilting before because it ha holds your hand through the process. Yes. This is not terribly difficult, but it's certainly not for someone who's just going into it for the very, first very time. first time, because um, you have to do some piecing. Um, they're only half square triangles, so it's nothing too tricky. Uh, OK, so hang on. So I'm used to seeing a solid line, which is a placement line. Yes, so you've got here, to begin with, pieces. So on the quilt as you go, it numbers which order you place your fabrics. Yeah. So we'll start off with piece number one, which is just a standard piece of fabric. Right. And then you've got pieces two, three, four, and five. And you go and in those, order. Yes, you go in order. And those are standard, attached in the standard right. way. When you move on to six and seven and eight and nine, these have got pre pre-joined sections. Before you even get to Before quilting. Before you even get to quilting. So what I, I did when I did mine is I did all of that piecing first. Right. So that then I could just sit and make each block. Does it tell you in the instructions what sizes you have to cut and which yes. bits you have to piece yeah, the together? Instru the yeah, the instructions like are great. You'll have to excuse my scrawling on oh, here. Oh, no, that's fine. But the instructions tell you how much you need of each fabric. And we've pulled together more than they've been quite specific here so yes. you've got a bit extra and then it tells you for each block that you're cutting how many squares or whatever how many pieces you need to yes. cut for each each one because when you make it up you can make up one set or you could buy two buy the extra one on its own and join two of them together to make an even bigger one to make a lap quilt or, or a wall yeah. hanging or something yeah, like so that. it tells you how many to cut what sizes to cut for each block for each block and then you multiply it for however many, how many blocks, blocks you're doing because on on black friday we had people buying six or eight of of the same oh, one fab. To create a, like a double you could bed do. size. Yeah, absolutely. Or you could do less. You could just do four. So you could do three and add one extra and do a table runner. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Or you, so. could make, you could, if you wanted to, you could make that into six placemats if you wanted yeah, or to. Or six could, cushions. Or six cushions, You yeah. do wide sashing around the outside. So oh, it's nice, it's nice yes. and flexible how you oh, can use the sofa. kids. big sofa. Imagine have six. Yeah, that all really match nice. all the way yeah, along. Beautiful. Or in Christmas fabrics mm. as well. Oh, yeah. Well, Christmas it's, cushions. You, you do Christmas cushions. Yes, that, I do. Joe Carter, she does Christmas cushions. Helen, her mum, she does Christmas cushions. Um, Lucy, she does <laughs> oh, Christmas cushions. Well, you just cushion cover. Just mm. same cushions, take them off, put them on. No. Oh, well, you're being Mr. Bar Humbug now. I am. You? Apart from my seven Christmas trees. Apart from your seven outside. Christmas trees yes. outside. Okay, so, so, so you would do <clears throat> the making of the little pieces before you even started on yes. your quilt as you go bit. Yes, here. I think so, because it's less fussy than you're ready. Because normally you cut all your pieces and you're ready to go and you, yes. you piece the block. Yes. So I think if you do all the sections, then you treat those. Because then as you haven't single, actually got... As a single piece. Yes, yes, haven't got that many. Okay, so what they're calling number nine, for instance, is number nine...
the whole of the that. The whole section. Because normally, like you say, we're used to Each two, three, and four one. just being a single piece of fabric. But so nine is the whole of that. Eight is the whole of that. And then... And six and seven are these bits so, at the bottom. So you make six, seven, eight, nine before you start anything. Yes. Okay, yes. let's have a look at that. So um, what I am going to do is just first pieces two, three, four, and five. Yes. Those are made from cutting squares that you then cut in half. And it explains all diagonal. of this, doesn't it, it on the instructions? It explains all of it on the instructions, but I thought it would be nice just to show no, you no, how no, no. I, I do that. No, 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 I think yeah. So I, once I've got my squares, I lay my squares on a cutting mat and I just, oh, let's line that up. So I'll line up the points against a line. <clears throat> Pardon me. I hope you're on, not getting my sniffly oh, cough already. it's going around. So I've got the points lined up on the mat, yep. going vertically and horizontally I've got on here as well because it just helps make sure that you're definitely in a straight line. Yeah. And then I'll take my large ruler and I'll place it at the top of the line and then lay it down. All right. And then trim. Ruler's been very, very popular for um, Christmas gifts. Oh, yes, what a nice gift to receive. It's frightening. It's, it's you know, less don't, than a month don't. away. Oh, no, all right, <laughs> I'll shut. Have you done your letters to Santa? Uh, they are in progress, okay. complete with pictures. Oh, blimey. Oh, they're going to town. So these I'll use in a minute. Yes. But these are the triangles, which I'll just place on top okay, of here brilliant. so you can now sort again, of see how one, they're coming together. You could swap the... Um, the pink. The pink and the, and the solid blue. Yes, you could. But the cave has to be that one. You could put it on the back, but I think... Oh, yeah, be a bit of a... That would be a real yes. shame. And then, and, then, and then the yellow and the, and the spotty, you could swap those two around. If you wanted a bright, another bright solid in this one here then now the one thing i've got to say about this cave is it um, and then you pointed out earlier is because the print is quite big you do get different looks from a different effect and <clears throat> i normally if i was doing this with if i was doing these the other way around yes. i would have pre-prepped more of these sections right but i think because this print is so bold i've left that just to see which way round we want to place yes. them? Because that, that, that nice almost, because I was that and thought, oh, that looks like um, camouflage. Camouflage, or those, that, we've got that fabric, don't we? The Attitude Mountains. But that's all the same, that is the same fabric as that, which is the same fabric, as, oh, sorry. That, 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 that are all the same fabric, and yet they look all very, very different. They do, they? they've got a completely okay. different effect. So, so now, what are you, what are you doing so now? You're I've, doing eight and nine now, you're doing six. Um, well, it's all the same. So okay. six, seven, eight, and nine have got the same sections. So if you have a look at the block that I've pre-prepared, the um, this is effectively six and seven and eight and nine, and each of them have Six, seven, this same eight, section oh, here, okay. which is created by the half square triangles. But eight and nine have just got the... Eight and nine have just got these yeah, two so extra well, squares okay, at the brilliant. end. So the half square triangles, the pattern um, instructs you to um, cut some squares. So you cut the squares according to the size that they um, require. And then to make a half square triangle, you draw your line along the middle, diagonally across from point to point. Right. Um, so I'm just going to draw that on. This is an air erasable pen. And I'm just being careful not to drag the pen because when you're doing half square triangles, a lot of the work is done on the bias. Of course. You end up accidentally dragging yes. the fabric when you don't mean to. That's a nice little rule. I've not seen that one. Well, no, it's a nice before. one. It's a good size because trying to do that with something really big. Yes, I exactly. Think, uh, how big is it? Bit. Six and a half inches, this one. Oh, yeah. That'd be a lovely stocking filler, wouldn't it? Fourteen. I'll stop talking about Christmas in a minute. Fourteen <laughs> ninety nine. In about four weeks' time, then you can stop talking about Christmas. Uh? Yeah, really handy. I use mine an awful lot. But that's a brilliant little gift, isn't it? For you, somebody if you, who you know. Yes. Um, loves to do a lot of sewing, and they wouldn't necessarily have got it because they all everyone buys that big yeah. one to start with. Yeah, and this is nice because it's got lots of lines on it. <laughs> which helps. The more lines, the better. The more, more lines, the better. Uh, so what are you doing, sorry? So I'm just pinning this in place. And now with half square triangles, you then sew a quarter of an inch each side of this line. Right. So I'll run this along uh, this line I've drawn against the edge of the quarter inch foot, and I'll sew a quarter inch this side and a quarter inch this okay. side. Then we trim in the middle, and then we can open them out, and you'll end up with Brilliant. those. 
So I'm just going to stitch that. So now you haven't, because obviously on the on the um, other one, you fussy cutted the peacocks in the middle. Yes, so you the didn't peacocks... fussy cut the dark blue or the cream. No, because I felt like life was too short. No, 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 no. <laughs> and also I quite like I quite like mayhem. Yeah, I think it's quite nice, especially with that print. You just pick up little bits of peacocks. Yes. Um, and I think it's really nice. But for the the central section of um, of each block, I thought it was a shame because it's on a diagonal. Right. I actually fussy cut out of the fabric. Have you got? I know, I've gone, I know I've gone completely off kilter there because you were about That's to start saying. But I was, going, I was going to ask something about. Oh yes, you didn't fussy cut the cape. You just went no, for it, I just and whatever went for came it. up came up. Absolutely went for it. But with the the central section for the peacocks. We're doing it now, Hannah. Now, 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 now. So I drew according to the pattern. I can't remember what size that was, but I drew a template. Right. For that, so, should we have a look? That one was a four and three quarter inch square. So I took a piece of paper, used my That's just ruler, normal, straightforward paper. Paper out the printer. Yeah. And I drew the four and three quarter inch square. I then did a quarter of an inch seam allowance because you've got to remember that some of it disappears. Yes, of And course. then I just worked out how I wanted the peacocks to sit within that block. Oh, so I yes. thought, do I want them at the bottom or do I want them right at the top? Yes, because that way you get the whole of the tail. The whole of the tail. tail. So I wasn't really sure. I ended up trying to get their bodies no, I think that's what in I the, do, yeah. In the middle, but you could have placed them a little bit higher. Higher, yeah. But I thought it was quite nice here to get this part of the tree. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. So just have a bit of a play according to the fabric you're using and decide how you want to fussy cut. Yes. I well, think yes, that's so, nice. Yeah, I could have them hating each other. That's yeah. like peacocks fighting, that one. Angry peacocks. Angry peacocks. So literally, that's how you worked out with your seam. That's yes. how, to, how to... So I then... But I then traced round that and cut that one out. And yes. I then took that and then placed that fabric... On oh, top, of course. Rather yeah. than using this, that because then if times. you place the fabric on, you can match up the edges of the fabric directly on top. Perfect. So like okay. a Okay. Now I've template. got a bottle of uh, best press here. Did you best press your fabric? Uh, yes, beforehand? I did. I sprayed all the fabrics beforehand because when you're using this quilt as you go, the batting um, is fusible, and um, I think it can end up a little bit too crispy. Right, if okay. you If you over-press it, it so takes that, all so the loft when out. When you do this, you can, you, can finger, you can finger press it a lot, can't yeah. you? And as Hannah's saying upstairs, it's not, she's learnt this, it's on the bias. So you put, when the fabric's on the bias, it's quite good to best press it. Yes. Oh, that, that's $4.99 for uh, lavender, but we do have other flavours on the website. Other flavors. But don't, drink don't drink it, don't no. drink it. Right, so going back now. And I'm glad we stopped there, because I was about to sew in the wrong place. Yes. Um, so what I did when I um, sewed up the sample is I chain pieced all of these. So I did all of my half square triangles all at one time. Oh, okay. Because I think there were 24 in total. For the whole... One, two, three, four, five, six. No, 36 they'll be, weren't they, all together? Uh, no, 24. Oh, weren't there? 24. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, six was 24. What was I adding up then? Six or something. Adding a few extras in. No, I, I, for some reason I thought I could see six. But no, there's only four. So if you just if you chain piece, it's a lot quicker and less fiddly, and you use marginally less thread. Uh, I've got to say two things very quickly. One, the peacock uh, bundle is selling incredibly, incredibly quickly. Oh, I'm not surprised. It's really pretty. And Wendy. Wants this as a Christmas present, oh. so she just wants to have a look at it. Wants it's nice because it goes across the width of a large mat. Yes, so oh, I, I suppose if you fold fabric in half, that's Yeah, if the, your fabric's fab folded in half, it will cover the fabric and you can line it up with the measurements each side of your board. So it's a really useful ruler. Uh, okay, we reorder this all the time, but at this moment in time, we've got less than 10 in stock. When it's I first started in, sewing, I wasn't really sure whether I needed one, but I was a sort of person that buys things just in case and uh, <clears throat> uh, but you know what I use it all the time yes oh no all use of our it. designers say that's the first one yeah that they get and then a square one so they can do corners and everything yeah. like that okay so I now just need to chop that in half so you just you sew not a quarter inch either side of your so line a quarter of an inch either side of that line yeah perfect and that pen's disappearing so if you are using a disappearing ink pen be careful either sew really really quickly or use one that doesn't no pressure there. No, no pressure. Oh, yes, yeah, so if you've done 24 and you've marked 24 up, by the time you get to number 24, you're 
Because yes. they say it takes up to 48 hours to, to disappear, but sometimes, like now... It's, go, it's gone really quite faint, so yeah. don't mark it up, go for a cup of tea and come yes. back later, because you might find that they're all gone. It's terrible. That rule is brilliant for things like this, isn't it? Yeah, really great. And we're going to use it in a minute when we square up this block. I'm just going to give this a little you? press. Oh, no, switch the iron on. You oh. have to wait a second, I'm afraid. One of those mornings, Vanessa felt stuffed us off. <laughs> Thanks, Vanessa. I did feel, and I, I, I kind of worried because, first of all, she said, oh, the machine's not working, Mark. And then I could hear her going, Mark, you better come in here oh, and sort it. Oh, it's really not working. Mark. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no, that poor boy. And he's, he's her new, because she's had a producer called Kerry for years and years and years. And suddenly, she's got new Mark, because Kerry's moved on to something else. And I thought, oh, I bet he's, oh. you know, quaking in his boots. Just starting to sweat. Right, so when we... Um, I've pressed those flat. Yes. And then I'm going to just press open. But just be careful, like we say, it's on the bias. So I'm just going to push open and smooth. You can finger press that. Oh, but you might as well press press these properly because you're not on the batting yet, are no. you? So you can, you can make that a really, really... A um, good press. Yes. What's the word I'm looking for? for precise, precise pressing on that one. There's that one. This one as well. And whilst I'm here, I might just, to save toing and froing, I might just adhere the, the wadding to the backing fabric. So the okay. backing fabric you've Oh, so, no, so this, because not all of them have that, do they? No, not all of them are um, fusible. Some of them are um, you, 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 you use you your fibre yes, spray. Yes, yeah. So I'm just going to oh, yeah, push that up, push everything bit. out of the way, yeah. Shove, shove. Oh, you need a bigger... bigger um... Yes, I just wanted to open out. Yeah. So this is um, when you when you have your um, you cut your batting out and you've cut your background out. You need to fuse the background to fuse them the batting. Together. So I'm now just going to oh not the spray, just going to warm that up a little bit, wake it up a bit. So you're not putting the iron on it at no, all. No, not going to stick it on because you don't want to get any of the fusible on your iron. Yes. Now yesterday Jane was saying this because she tried to, Jane Alcock had tried to fuse some. Um, no, it wasn't, she wasn't doing a course to go. It was a, some, um, a, a, ba a batting, a, a fusible backing, batting, and she couldn't get it to work. And a friend of hers said, warm it up first and do Give exactly what you've just done. Oh, now the iron has now been typical and spurted everywhere. Going so now, iron. again, you're not... No, because I don't want to totally squash. You've got to remember that this batting is, um, isn't a cotton. No, it's a polyester. polyester. So you don't want to knock out all of the loft. So... At, at the moment, you haven't put the iron on it at all. Are you not going to put the iron in? No, in I don't. Well, I'm very, very light. I'm not yeah. letting the weight of the iron go down. Yeah. So we'll see. That may or may not be enough. But we'll just yeah, but at home, you've got time one. to... At home, you've got time. And I would um, stick it on, and then I would leave it to set. Oh, OK. So let it cool down. Um, that's important. We'll talk about that later. Yes. Um, in in bag making, quite often, um, it's really important. Even though you're really keen to get going, it's really important to let your fusibles adhere properly, oh, yeah, cool okay. down before yeah. you move on to anything else. Okay. Right. So now, when you've got your half square triangles, those are done, but they need they need trimming up. No matter how hard you try, they always go a bit squiffy. Right. So these just need to be trimmed to three and a half inches wide um, the the ruler has got a nice 45 degree angle on it here so I'm just lining up the the diagonal line that goes across the middle yeah. of the ruler with the middle of the half square triangle right and I'm lining it right up as as far as I can because we need to cut at three and a half inches so um, oh, I haven't got quite got far enough you're so you're literally just, you're not cutting anything away, you're just literally skimming the edge and taking your yeah, just legs. Yeah, just taking off. off those little ears, standing on your toes when you do it. No, no, quite no, no, high. because Joy, when Joy, whenever Joy gets her rotary cutter, she goes, move away from the table, John. And I'm not allowed to lean on the table when she's cutting with her rotary cutter. So that, it's, now it comes automatic with all the designers. As soon as the rotary back, cutter comes out, I go, the rotary oh, cutter is out. Back. So I'm just going to... Now, now uh, when Janet, do you know uh, Janice, anything can happen hobs, right? Yes. <laughs> Stand quite far back when she's got a scissor or a rotary cutter, because she starts going she like wafting. that. Is she wafting? she wafts it, yes. 
I haven't seen her for ages, though. She's all right. I've not seen her in ages, either. I know she had to go to America because they had a family tragedy, but um, right. she's okay. back, I think, now. OK. So we'll just... So you're not, you're, you're not actually, I mean, you're just checking that it's the right size, but you're not measuring, measuring with this. You're just literally Chopping taking off. the edges off, making it into a pure square. And you can square. see on some of the, so you're taking off those little ears, yes, yes. but then there's also a little bit Tiny of extra. Bit, yes. Just makes it easier when you come to sew on at the next stage. Yeah. And when you're generally, when you're doing half square triangles, it will depend on the designer as to how much give they've given yes. you. Yes. Um, to chop off. Yeah, because you cut those to the sizes that, that they quilt as you go have told you to cut them. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so you can see that's all I've trimmed yes. off yeah. on those, so it's not an awful lot. Okay, so okay. back to so the placement. Thank you. <laughs> you dealt with that beautifully. I did. <laughs> I was doing that earlier. So that's sort of where those are going to go. So now, are we ready then? Are you ready to start placing or have you got to carry no, on? No, I'm going making? to continue piecing. Okay. So the, um, the half square triangles now need to be sewn together. Right. Um, and we've got these blocks, these little... Solid blocks for the corners. In the corners. Oh, now this is where I suppose it's good if you're... Because we've cut randomly, It'd be quite good to place them now to make sure yes. you've got it looking as you want a it to look. A little bit, yes. And I'll try and get that, the pink bits more in the middle. Okay. Because it sort of echoes yes. in with those. And then the design of these half square triangles need to come in together. So you've got to make sure that they go the right way round. And anyone that's watched me on Instagram realised that I put this together and put one of them the wrong way round. Oh, did you? Oh, I Even though I was being one. so careful. It happens. I had, what do you mean? Attention. You had, you had the point going the wrong I'd way? Put, for example, this one, I'd put the other way around. Oh. Oops. Some unpicking to do. And also, this is a good time also to go, oh, there's a bit too much pink. Yeah, yep. too, too so much just, pink on that one. So just move them round. And actually, that works yeah. probably a little yeah. bit better. So then we'll um, then attach these together. And I've got those the right way around. Just put them right sides together. Yeah. In, but I'm going to pin actually the other way. Why is that? Because I want to start sewing at this end. Because if the fabric moves a little bit, it it moves as you travel down when you're right. sewing. Oh, so you this end won't the be as points. accurate. So I'm trying to match the points at this end. Right, got it, got it, got it. It gives a better result. And will you chain piece those as I'll well? I'll chain piece these together. Hello, John and Victoria. Nurse Julie here. Wonderful to see you both. Even hubby Dave is watching. Oh. He thinks you're so funny, John. Oh, well, because I've got a cold. Oh, no. Uh, what's he called? Dave. Dave. What, Dave? What, Dave? What, Dave? <laughs> and I thought you worked nights, Nurse Julie. Have you come in from work? Oh, working nights. I She's would, a nurse. I, I right? wouldn't yes. be very good at that. She's working Chris over Christmas. Oh, is she? Oh, good. I want for to say her. like me, but it's a bit different, isn't it? it I'm is... working. Well, I'm working Christmas morning. I'm oh, on my you, own you Christmas morning. Good. But, but I'm not a doctor or a nurse, am I really? No, but you're keeping people company. Yeah. Well, it could be that they're keeping me company because I've got nobody to share it with. Mm. But da, 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 da. you say that I'm going to do fabric. So I start crying. <laughs> I'll just cry here. Uh, is there for anything a bit. you want to point out? No, let's see you do the first one actually before I go. Okay. Because we want to see you do the corner. Okay, well, Just I'll not pin those. I'll no. sew one and then I'll yes, chain yes, piece yeah. the others. So, so you're starting, what we were saying was you're starting where the point is yes, and working across. I'm sewing down this way. So I made sure that that's as, as close as possible. So we're starting on that edge there and working across. Because if you start at this edge and move, if the fabric moves, you, you, can, know you, can tell, you can so tell this is a Victoria Peak because every corner matches. Oh, well, don't look at that one too close. Oh, <laughs> it's so <laughs> neat and precise. It's incredible. So now do you just... So again, a quarter inch. Uh, this machine's got a quarter inch foot, which is fabulous. Yeah. Just takes some of the eyeballing out of it. And so all the way along. Take your pins out if you've used pins. Some people don't use pins when they quilt. But I think when you're matching points, I think it Oh, no, I think it's helps. important. Even uh, Lucy doesn't use pins at all. When she's matching a point like that, she always pins the first one to make sure it um, matches. So then, on here, you would then press to one side. Yeah. Give it a bit of 
bit of a finger press. Nothing wrong with a bit of heat from your finger. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so you've made your, um, your so that middle would, section. That would be a, a six or a seven. Yes. So we'll make two of those, and then for the eight and nines, you then take these and add them to and it. add those right, to so the make, sides. Right. So make the four so middle make ones, the other... and I'll come. I'll do the fabrics, and I'll come back. Okie dokes. <coughs> so now we've got two bundles to offer you. Oh, to start with the cave. So what you get in this one is you get a meter of the cave fabric, meter, half a meter of the bright blue half a meter of the raspberry spot, a meter and a half of the yellow, and a meter and a half of the blue spot. So this or this can be your background or your backing. That one has to be your main sections like we've shown you, and then those two can swap around. You've got the thread and you've got, there's the kit. And you've got the uh, quilt as you go uh, for 57 pounds and 49 pence. No, no, the, tele, the angle the telly's on here, it just looked like a plastic bag. It didn't look like it had the quilt to go in it, but I just had to move across, I can see it now, you see. Okay, and then the other one, which is very, very, very popular, which is one that Victoria's already made. Uh, beautiful. Now, I wouldn't normally put three f exactly the same fabrics in different colours together, but it works so well. There's the finished there's the finished quilt there. So what uh, Victoria's done is she's used the aqua one, as the centerpiece and fussy cut it, so they're, they're, they all have a direction. And then the others are just kind of random. There you go, you see I told you that would happen, didn't I? Some people, so a couple of people have bought two lots and so they can make a bigger, uh, they'd make a quilt of 12 panels rather than six panels. So you get, <coughs> oh, excuse me, half a metre of the aqua, half a metre of the blue, one metre of the cream, one and a half metres of the coral, and one and a half metres of the blue, uh, plus the uh, thread, pl uh, there it is, uh, there's the kit, plus the, um, go, please check out on that one, because I don't want anyone to miss out. You can also buy the Kutchka, if you've already got your own fabrics, or you're going to buy one of the other fabrics from me later on in my fabric shows. Mm, think about it, think about it. So um, this is your quilt as you go. Eight ninety nine. So now, um, if you obviously you make six, you make six panels like this, and you can do them the way that Victoria's done them there. Or now, what's hang on though? What's that then? Let me have a look how that one works. That's if you add, it's the same block look, but you've got 12 blocks on that one. And I think they just swap the fabric. And they just swap, then they just move the fabric around. Yeah, they just do the colours different way around. Uh, if ever you want to know anything more about, uh, you can go to their um, easy to follow uh, little films as well. Because when I first came to, well, both Hannah and I, when we first started working, we'd never heard of Quilt As You Go. Um, so we went on the website and we watched a lot of them, didn't we, Hannah? One of our first bonding experiences here at Certain Quarter. But I'm going back now. Just giving these. No, no, you're right. there? That's fine. Yeah, I'll stay here till you've done it. Okay. So just pressing those open. The, um, it's funny, isn't it? Because the, uh, the K f fabric is actually quite a big floral print. But even, I said those ones looked camouflagey, but even the colourful ones look kind of camouflagey as well, don't they? When you yeah, cut like them a, into small a triangles. A modern twist on yes. camouflage. Mind you, can you imagine the army running around in pink cave <laughs> camouflage? Lime green. Yes. That's an entirely different environment, isn't it? Lime Just wondering green if I get an invitation to the wedding, you know, thinking of Prince William, you know, Harry and You Meghan. never know. I did say it wrong this morning. I said something, oh, he's marrying Angela Merkel, isn't he? And they were like, no. <laughs> no, Angela <laughs> Merkel. <laughs> All right, they'd be very happy. I'm sure they will. I'm sure they would be very happy. <laughs> okay, right. so now on here, just have a bit of a... Oh, throw the pins around. Just make sure that you're happy with how those prints are going to sit in conjunction. They seem all right, don't they? Yeah. 
So these ones we'll leave fine. These ones are the ones that we're joining. So we still, we've done all this sewing, but we actually haven't done any. Haven't attached anything. Quilt as you go yet. No, we haven't yet. Which is fine. I'm, I'm not, um, I'm not criticising. Uh, we've got about 15 minutes. OK, so shall we... So these side pieces, you attach... Yes, you keep, keep the, going as you, keep as going you do those? it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it seems yeah, a shame not to show the actual no, exactly. quilt as you go. Well, no, no, we'll get to quilt as you go, I'm sure. Yeah. So... Goes on, and I'm going to do both sides at the same time. Yeah. So, we'll run. so all you're doing is adding the corner squares to the side, or which, yeah, the side runs, aren't the they? The side section, yeah. yes. That one. And I just had a really big stack of them and did all of them at the same yes. time. Yes, because if, you, if you're making six of these, you do each, you do it all the stages at the same time. Yeah, you, yes. yeah, you can do. I think, but it depends on the way that you get your satisfaction from sewing yes. is that actually you might want to do one block at a time yeah. because that might feel like a better sense of achievement to say okay well I've done block number one yeah, tomorrow oh yes. I'll do block number two I'm just thinking I wonder what it would look like if you did each block slightly different yeah you could get a much more scrappy but cohesive yeah so, so you're still using all the same fabrics but yep. you so you do one with the dark blue there one with the solid there one with the coral from the back. You know what I mean? You just yep. mix and match them around. Yeah, you can have a play. And that's that's the good thing about the instructions is because it tells you how much you need of each fabric yes. for each block, you can then work out mathematically whether you've got enough. Yeah, and also we always we always um, include a little bit too much in our kits anyway. It's not it's not like if we if you ha if it's one of those where you have to cut it really carefully, we tell you. So on the yeah. whole, it is we are quite there's generous. A, there's a bit of room. Thinking, yes. Well, you saw where um, I showed you how I'd fussy cut those central sections for the um, for the peacocks. Yeah. There was plenty there to of course, allow yeah. you to, to be a bit more creative. But yes, because on yours, obviously, you've got all the, the points in the solid blue. So it'd be interesting maybe to do one of them with the points in one of the peacocks and one of the other sections yes, of the solid blue. Yes, that'd be nice. Blue. Well, you could just do two different block styles and just yes. alternate. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, it might be a bit much to do six different ones, might it? But there again, you haven't seen my house. <laughs> you haven't seen Hannah's house. That would work perfectly in Hannah's house. Who's doing that concentrating breathing at the moment? Concentrating breathing? Yeah. When she's concentrating, she goes very quiet. She doesn't speak. And oh, then she, right. I think okay. she bobs her head a little bit forward like this. because Her microphone is in front of her, so she does this. So when she's concentrating, she goes... <sighs> <sighs> and it comes down my earpiece, and all I can hear is... Concentrating breathing. And she's got a cold, which doesn't help at the moment. Oh, Wendy in Suffolk, does Quilt as you go batting come in the pack as separate squares or is it one big sheet that you have to cut out? One big sheet that you cut out. So you get six of them all joined together and then you cut them out with like a one inch seam allowance. Yeah, I used the long ruler and laid the ruler up. You can see on here uh, you've yeah. got the lines pre-printed. Look, Wendy, there's the four there. I don't know how closely you can see that. You can't see it at all, actually. Oh, yes, you've come quite, quite close. There's four... All together there, you see. So that's one, and then that's the other one there. And then there's four left on that piece, that piece of wadding. So it makes it easier to work with. Um, we did, they could go do do other ones like a rug or a wall hanging sometimes that you don't cut up. You just cut very, very big bits of fabric and do stripes. Yes, I've not like done that. that one before. Uh, no, um, Paul Clark did it, uh, he's, and because he's not a quilter, right. he was saying, that as a beginner, it's there's quite a lot of um, when you're used to just doing a 12 inch square like that, and he's not used to doing a quilt quilt uh, right, to get gotcha. it under here because you've got the whole on this one, you're quilting as you're going, you ever only ever have your 12 inch yeah, square, which is don't really you? nice because he's right when you're not used to it, trying to get the bulk through yes, your machine, yeah. and not all machines have got such a large throat. No, no, so it's it can be quite difficult. I have wrestled many a time, yes. <laughs> And broken a needle here and there. Oh. Not good. Okay. So now we are ready to quilt as you no. go. No! I know! Well, it's only 8.45. Amazing! Right, so with quilt as you go, we'll take all these back off. Yes. We start with piece number one. 
It's marked on here so you've for you. You've got 10 minutes to quilt as you go. Whew. Not quite sure I'll manage that, but we'll give it a best yes. shot. Piece number one. So place, piece, piece number one on. Piece number one doesn't get stitched on, as, its, own. As on its own. No, it? just placed. Yeah. And then we're going to do piece two then piece three but because of the way that they're placed in that they're opposite to each other you can do both of them prep both of them at the same time so place number three on and just make sure that your points of your triangles extend equally past okay on the would on it the, be um oh no because you, you don't want to fold anything in because you're not going to press it press it are you so same thing there and i'm just going to pin that in now, on the instructions, it mm -hmm. says you don't pin all the way through to your backing. You just No, because I think it's just a bit too bulky oh, okay. to go through. So you just so literally just, pin to this. Yes, it's just gone through part of the wadding. Yes. So you can see here it's yeah. sort of attached. Yes, you're right, because if you take it through the whole lot, you're going to create its own really bulky dimple already, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. Under and I don't think we've mentioned that the lines on here are placement lines, they're not stitching lines. Yes, so the fabric goes up to the edge of that line. Now, you're using your quarter inch foot, you're not using a walking foot. No, is that all right? Yes, I think that's okay. This hasn't got too much loft to it, right. so I don't think it's too bulky. Um, but if you've got a walking foot, you more than happy to use I suppose that. it depends what, you, what you're happier using, whether you want to use the quarter inch or you want to use the walking foot. Yeah, I personally, I use my walking foot all the time. I very rarely take it off. I take it off when I'm doing zips or I need a blind hem or something like that. Oh, but, but generally, generally I use it all the time because I love it. I think it's great. So even if you were making a frock? Yeah, I keep it on. I just keep it on. Yeah, keep it on. I'm just going around to the other side. Does that mean you can do almost every stitch, every day stitch with your walking foot on? Yes, because it's got a big section on the foot to allow the needle to go through. So you zigzag? So you can And you zigzag. keep your feet dogs up then? Do you yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. It's not happy. It's not feeding through very well, is it? got an issue yeah we're not, <coughs> we're not moving uh, oh let's have a look oh no That's not good. is it you your is have it a nest th on the back no I don't have a nest on the back no oh, let's try again we'll just do it once one then I can always go and do I could do the summing up bundles and then come back and carry on saying let's just see what let's happens see. oh Terribly happy, something's not right. Oh, you, you know right? what it is? It's the quarter inch foot, it's got itself caught on the wadding. Ah, there you go. Because on my quarter inch foot, the, the little guide is a bit raised. Right. There we go. It's just nope. blowing through. Maybe that one should be raised, and maybe. Okay. There we go. I do feel a bit sorry for our sewing machines because oh, they every day hard. somebody different. They work all day, and somebody different. You know, two people every a day time. are on them, really, aren't they? Okay. Okay. So you would just trim all your threads. Yes. Give it a finger press. Yeah, because this is where you don't want to be pressing with the iron, isn't it? Because no. you're going to cr make your um, wadding crispy. All horrid. And then okay. you can go and attach piece number four and five in the same fashion. So you don't trim away any of your dog ears or anything at this no, point? No, the dog ears will disappear in the next scene. Right, so you, you don't need to cut it, you don't need to trim. No, but you would trim your threads. Yes. Because that's neat and tidy. But no, the, the ears all get swallowed up in the design. I'm just making sure that these triangles sit nice and neatly yep. over there. <laughs> and I think I might, if there is a different foot. Yeah, change the foot, just on the safe side. Just change the foot. So you're just changing it to a normal foot now? Yes, I've, I've put it onto a clear foot because yeah. I quite like a clear foot. Yeah. And then I think that's stitch number one. I'll go for that and just double check where the seam allowance So you're moving the needle, this is the joy of the 680, you can move the needle to a quarter inch. Yes, this has got a specific stitch setting yeah. for the quarter inch foot. Oh, I can... Yeah. Double check. 
Oh, no, yeah, the, the, walk the, the foot is fine, but I can see that it's caught, it will have caught in the, um, the wadding. Yes, it? yeah, it's just in the loft yeah. of the wadding, like the top cloud section. Uh, Carol from the Scottish Broadcast says, Good morning, John and Victoria, good loving morning. the show. Oh, thank you. Yes, it's nice to have um, a kind of, um, I don't want to say peaceful, relaxing, sewing be chill day because it's been with all good you know, it been Friday, manic? was it black friday and cyber monday and everything's all been a bit manic a bit so it's crazy. quite nice have a quiet sewing day i didn't do any internet shopping over the weekend or any actual shopping over the weekend oh i have to tell you hannah did uh, one bit of shopping on cyber monday hannah producer mm -hmm. she went out and she bought a pair of boots right, right. She, oh, i need new boots i'm going cyber monday buy new boots so she, i didn't give her a lift home to her village so, oh all her christmas decorations up in her village got new decorations this Ooh. year anyway so she hasn't even noticed. So, um, so uh, anyway, she got in the car. I said, I've got my new shoes. I said, oh, she had a bit of a problem. And I said, what's the matter? She said, they've given me one three and one four. And I said, are they, are they in the box to take back? And she said, I've only just realised. So she's going to go back to the shop later oh. on and go, you've given me a three and a four, but I had to wear them because I wore them to work. Oh, dear. I know. She said, technically, they both fit. Oh, I really? Well, I couldn't wear a seven or an eight. Oh, no. You know what I mean? I may be a five and a half or a five at a push. Yes. But I'm not... Mm. No. Bad right. for your feet as well, honey, your posture. OK, so again, flip those out. Give that a finger press. And then we move on to piece six and seven. So once you've done... So, so it's kind of, once you've done all your piecing and everything... The hard work's gone. Yeah, and, and it's kind of, you're going to see results very, very quickly. Yes, it you? comes together really quickly. So this is where I made the mistake on the other one and okay. ended up unpicking. Just so make you, what, sure... So did you do that? Yes, I accidentally did that. Okay, that would look a bit odd, wouldn't it, yes. You would think I would notice, yes. but I didn't. So is it late? I don't know, I think I was, it was more haste less Drunk. speed. A drunk <laughs> So. Junk in charge of a sewing machine, is that a, is that a criminal offence? It should be. What you end up producing is not always great. No. Okay, so now what you've got is you've got these, these dotted lines are, yes. like as you said earlier, they're the piecing where you have pieced yes. the section. But what you can use is you can use this dotted line here as a visual guide with the piece that you're about to join to show oh, that that yes, the runs onto that. Oh, yes, the continuation of that. Yes, yeah. And these side pieces should match as well, but that's just an extra point for you to notice. OK, any tips of what where your um, seam allowances should go here? No, just concentrate on where the actual stitching line goes. No, I mean, as in, as in, should you go this way, should it go... You know what I mean? You, you've got the, the actual... Yes, ideally, you would want them pressed that way, but I just press them all in the same direction. Oh, OK. So I've ended up with some... One way oh, Marcia's messaging for you, Victoria. Morning, everyone. It's such a joy watching someone so organised work. Oh, well, thank you so much. You should now see me at home. <laughs> that, no, yes. But that's, that's um, a compliment come from Marcia, because we've seen a lot of Marcia's... She, Marcia's just made, uh, for her husband's birthday, a great big quilt, and she hand-quilted it all. Oh, my word. What I a know. labour of love. I know. Wonderful. I know. Oh, I'm sorry I missed that. OK. It's got about a minute left now, okay. Victoria. We haven't quite finished, have we? No, but that's fine. So I'll sew along one of these. So Hannah can finish see. it in the break. Oh, yeah, so. that's fine. She can finish that. Well, it's Luckily. all the hard work. It's done, Hannah. Yeah, exactly. I've done all the hard bit. You'll be fine. There's the foot pedal. I think it's important because we've shown quilts to go quite a lot, but it, we haven't shown as much. Like you have today, the piecing and yeah, getting ready Yeah, I think it's nice it. because it gives you a little bit of extra experience. And it tells you all in instructions. So it yes, tells exactly. you all here how to do your half square triangle. So you're not having to then go, oh, well, I've got to go and learn how to do it. Yeah. It's there for you. And also, this is on YouTube from now on, for as long as YouTube exists, sort of thing. So anyone can come back and watch you again doing and it again. on YouTube. And they can fast forward. They can rewind. They can pause. So if I just show you okay. here, that one flips out to that side and then that one would do the same thing and then you add your blocks Brilliant. on the side. And then when you've done that, you then just sew, as I've done on this one, this sample, you can see I've done a running stitch. It suggests a zigzag stitch, but I've just done a running stitch just around the outside to hold it. And then I've trimmed the block. You trim the block a half inch yeah. and you use your long ruler to lay against 
um, a half inch line against this drawn line and you trim the blocks Brilliant. down. Brilliant. We'll do sashing another day if that's yes, right. Yes, do sashing another uh, you're day. You're back in an hour. I am, with bags. With uh, Lottie bag. Yes, And well, we've got the Margaret bags that you did last time, completely sold out. We've re remade the, the bundles and we've got the new Lottie one. Thank Bye. you ever so much. Thank we'll you. see you in an hour's time. Right. First, first. Peacocks. You switch. I think you switched me off, Hannah. I think I got me now. Oh, it's because she was doing breathing, she said. So you get half a metre of the aqua peacocks, half a metre of the dark blue peacocks, you get a metre of the cream peacocks, metre and a half of the coral, metre and a half of the blue, the thread and the uh, quilt as you go. £55.99. OK. And then, and so all, what you didn't see on that, if you're sitting and thinking, oh, we didn't see a Victoria use the coral, the coral was on the backing. The backing was the, was the, one, on the, on the one on the back of the wall. And then on this one here, you've got the cave, a metre. Half a metre of the blue, half a metre of the raspberry, one and a half of the yellow, one and a half of the blue spot, the thread, and the um, quilt as you go. <coughs> Excuse me, little cough there. Six, seven and pounds and four, pounds. Don't go anywhere. I've got Premier Fabrics coming up in the next hour. Really, really, I've got two hours of Premier Fabrics, this one and then 11 o'clock. So don't go anywhere, get yourself a quick cup of tea or watch the adverts, I'm not quite sure what's in the advert break this time. And I'll see you in three minutes from now with gorgeous Premier Fabrico. Follow us on Pinterest, search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. Hi, I'm Victoria Pete, and here are my top tips. My first tip is when dressmaking is to wash your fabrics. As soon as you get home or as soon as it arrives in the post, stick it in the wash. Wash it as you would do with the finished garment. Get it ready so that when you're ready to sew, you're ready to go. My next tip is posture. When you're sitting at your sewing machine, particularly when you're doing something like quilting, pay attention to how you're sitting in the chair, because quite often when you're really concentrating on quilting, you have a tendency to hunch, and before you know it, you'll end up with a bad back. So my last tip is to not sew when you're tired. So many times I've sewn when I'm tired and I make mistakes, and you find yourself unpicking or wasting fabric. Sew when you're nice, ready and fresh. There are many ways you can watch Sewing Quarter. We are live every day on Freeview Channel 78 and online at sewingquarter.com from 8 a.m. till 12 noon. But if you've missed a show, don't worry. There are two easy ways to catch up. The first is through our website, www.sewingquarter.com, where we repeat that morning's shows throughout the day. On the homepage, you'll see our video stream. Click on the video to hear sound and see a list of the products that we have shown in that day's shows. The second way to catch up is on our YouTube channel. All our shows are kept on YouTube, so if you buy a product and want to see the demonstration again, you can. Go to www.youtube.com forward slash sewing quarter where you'll find all our shows listed by date. Select your preferred date then, using the description beneath the video, jump to the hour you want to watch. Then you can pause, rewind, play and skip your way to the bits that you want to watch again. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. In our 12 kits of Christmas, we've got festive treats from the 1st of December. We're giving you a discount delight at 9am. Make sure you remember... From the 1st of December to the 12th day, Santa will be arriving every morning for us on his sleigh. He's ticked off his nice list and we're right at the top. We're getting an extra goodie every day. You won't want them to stop. So, from the 1st of the month, settle down to watch us with a cup of Christmas cheer. Our daily special treat will be the start of a fabric-filled sewing quarter year. Can I just say, I wasn't bored. Chris has just said, oh, you sound really bored. Like that, didn't you? Oh, I was listening to this on the radio. I thought of you yesterday, right? Um, 
on the radio going home yesterday, Craig Charles was filling for Steve Wright in the afternoon, and he had an actor from Peaky Blinders. Is that called Peaky Blinders? Who's from London, all that geezer, all that geezer, but apparently he plays a Birmingham person. Anyway, he said, and I, I knew you'd go mad, because he went, oh, I learned how to do Birmingham, I did it black country. And it's not the same place, is it, Chris? Chris is from black country, and he says, keep a tie, John. That means cup of tea. Uh, Amya, which means, are you? I don't know what Amya means, <laughs> are you? And it's not Birmingham, that's black country. And Hayley and Rachel, her friend Rachel, the school friend Rachel, who's also a TV producer, um, they're, both, they're both from Dubai. And that's like, I didn't know, I thought black country part of, Sc uh, uh, Scotland, part of Birmingham. So I do apologise if I've ever said you're from Birmingham, from the black country, but it's a very nice museum, isn't there? I've... Oh, you do what? You're in it. You're in it, he's in it. He's in... So if you want to see Chris, he's one of the stuff thingies in it anyway. Uh, I bet you're wondering why you're going, oh, John, I thought these were Premier Fabrics. They are, but I've got something to tell you, first of all. All uh, the Christmas panels uh, that we have and uh, advent calendars and things like that, they're available on the website, 40% off. Four to, so what you need to do is go to the website, www.sandquarter.com. Right, now uh, click on the... Um, the banner, and it takes you straight to a special department. Look, department. It's like Grace Brothers, isn't it? First floor, haberdashery. Anyway, um, all the panels are there, all the advent calendars are there, they're all 40% off. So I'm, I'm highlighting one each hour. This is the one I'm highlighting this hour. Now, when the graphics come in, I'll hold it up the right way, John. Now, you'll have to, uh, well, you'll have to start making it for next year, unless you give it on about the 5th. Now, this was 6 .99. It works on that one, look. It was 6 .99, this one. It's now £4.19. pence. £4 pence for the, the panel. Now, I've, uh, so that's it there, and this is it made up. Now, obviously, you don't get the backing or the binding or anything like that, but that's what it looks like when it's finished. Nice, isn't it? £4 for the panel and 19 pence. So it's brilliant. OK. I'll move on. So we're just highlighting one an hour, but they are on the website, all of them. So there's also the stock, I don't know why I did that. There's also the stockings. There's also the, um, uh, it's not little, little Paul's washing line. All things like that on them. Stockings and, anyway, go and have a look. It's 40% off, 40% off. Oh, no, you won't get it on the 1st of December, because the 1st of December's on when? Two days' time, isn't it? Something's happened to that tree over there, hasn't it? I'm not quite sure what's... I think we need the set decorators in to sort it out. Anyway, loads of the baubles gone missing. Premier Fabrics. Now, you've seen one of them already. I'm just going to start. I'm just going to start. Right, I, we love this. We love this. Now, hang on. I brought my purple tape measure out with me and it seems to have gone... No, no, it's on the second shelf, it's on the second shelf, it's on the second shelf. Because they're all different widths, so I want to tell you the width. This is heavy cotton. I do apologise if I'm still sniffing, but it is going, isn't it? It is going. Oh, Lorraine! Lorraine will love this. Now, do you know what? I took the, <coughs> I took the other one home. I brought it back, don't worry. Uh, for the blind in my bathroom, I think this one is even better. I love this fabric. Now, it's a heavyweight cotton. It's 100% cotton. You do make me giggle, John, says a customer. Is that Sheila? No, she Sheila's Mrs., isn't she? The customer's just gone, you do make me giggle, John. Thank you. Oh, hang on, I've got, I've got her instant thingies on the side here. So small, I can't read it. 100% cotton. I'm, I'm imagining it that it's 30 degrees, but I can't see it. You can iron it. It says not to tumble dry it. Hang on, I'll turn it up for you so you can have a look. Can we see it? Can you make it big? Tim, can you make it big, Timothy? Anyway, I love it. I do love it. Oh, I'm thinking it might be a bit heavy for a shirt. Nice jacket. Oh, oh, do you know what? This is lovely. If you make yourself a little kind of um, box jacket and you wear a black dress underneath it and just have this. <laughs> Who's that reminds me of? Uh, somebody who won Eurovision Song. Oh, I've just remembered who it is now. 
Dana International. She wore, uh, do you remember when she came out for the, for the winning? No, 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 who knows what I'm talking about. This is a metre here, but look how wide it is. Look how wide it is. It must be 60 inches if it's... Sorry. 60 inches wide. That's a metre. So obviously for the six pounds of... I'm just going to move it, sorry. For 6.49, that's what you'll get for your 6.49. Obviously yours will be cut properly. There we go. So that's what you'll get for your six pounds and 49 pence. Oh, I think it's lovely. It's like a, almost like, do you know what it looks like? It looks like, you know, uh, we showed the picture that um, Hannah did for her degree and she did a budgie, but the way the colours, oh, where am I? There you go. Uh, the way the colours blend into each other, it is like a watercolour, yeah, it's like they, 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 you smudge them into place. But then, Oh, Marcia, it's reminding Marcia of Brazil. This, I know what this flower is. No, that's not an orchid. No. Oh. Oh, what is it? Hannah's going orchid. It's definitely not, I don't think it's an orchid. I think it's a, oh, I hate it when I can't think of the word. You know which one I mean. Going through the door of Waitrose on the right-hand side there, and they come in purples and pinks and yellows. And I want to say, it's not gypsophila. No, it's not gypsophila. I want to say something a bit like that. Anyway, I better get on. It'll come to me. <coughs> now, when we showed the other tropical bird one, very like this, it sold out within the hour. It sold out within the hour. So please be aware. Loads of you got it in your basket already. Loads of you got... Oh, do you know what? Davinia... Davinia's thinking of making a new skirt. Davinia, that would look gorgeous as a skirt. Really lovely weight fabric. Okay, no, no, not for, just, we're not making it. Oh, do you know what? Joy, you know Joy that's on? Um, you know that Joy that's, you know, an expert Joy, she loves a flamingo, right? <gasps> Cat, apparently I've been told what the flower is. Go. No, I've got Marcia's name. Right. Joy's going to love this. Oh, again, it's an, I'll, I'll do the whole, the whole width. 60 inches again, look. This again is the heavy cotton. Oh, it, now this, this would be beautiful. Cushions in your conservatory. Or garden cushions. I know I'm thinking now of spring, summer next year, but garden cushion. You could make a blind out of it, Definitely. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Now, how big are the flamingos, you're saying? Kathleen says, Astromira. Kathleen, you read my mind. Thank you. Oh, so did Mary and Michelle, Astromira. So the, the, uh, they're not peacocks, what are these? Flamingos, about two and a half, two and three quarter inches wide, two inches tall. Oh, I love that. It's like, you've got the mix, haven't you? It's called spring flamingo. But you've got the mix of, oh, we've called, hang on, we've called it flamingos and flowers, but it's actually called spring flamingo. I love it because you've got like that Japanese print of the blossom, great big daisies, and then you've got the um, flamingos in the trees. Oh, I do like that. That is beautiful, isn't it? 640, now again, I'm showing you a metre there. But 6.49 for half metre and it's 60 inches wide. Oh, that is lovely. Uh, Teresa, morning, John. The parrot fabric looks like the Carter's wallpaper in the Queen Vic on EastEnders. I love it from Tezza. It's not there anymore. They had that, remember when she threw a dinner at the, at the table? Uh, and then while she was away, having a baby in real life, but working, looking after her mum, really, um, they put the silhouette of London, didn't they? The skyline of London, which I didn't like. Right, now the next few fabrics are cotton sateen. So they've got that gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Well, it all, they feel like a lovely soft satin that like you can make a ball gown out of them, mate. Oh, 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 look at the width again. Oh my word, imagine, imagine that as a frock. I love it, oh, blouse. A lovely summer frock. Oh, I love that. Now, what leaves do we think they are? What's it called? Leaves fabric on blue. It won't be that. It's called Royal Satin 
by Penelope. There's never, there's never a name. <gasps> oh, I think it's lovely. The feel, I wish you could feel it. It's got that, look at, look at ruches. Look at ruches up. It's just gorgeous. And, that's a, and it's not a heavyweight like the, the parrots or the um, flamingos. It's a re, you could make the most exquisite frock out of this. Lightweight, lightweight frock. Or a blouse. Or again, something in your house that needs to drape. Oh, 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 now look at it from a distance. This is a metre again, by the way. So 6.49 for half a metre. Oh, I love, love, love those prints. It's one of those prints that if you concentrate on the blue, you see the little leaves, you know what I mean? And they don't, you don't see the big green leaves. And then you kind of concentrate, bring, the, bring it back into focus. You can see just the big green leaves, can't you? You see, look, from the distance, it's a really lovely, mildy, leopardy kind of print, isn't it? Again, look at the width, 60 inches wide. I will go through these uh, uh, more thoroughly, but I'm loving them. Um, we've owned, uh, the only um, satin finished cotton I've seen was one that we had like a Japanese garden, like a blossom in the pink. That's the only one I've seen before. Uh, you're going to love this next one. You're going to love this. I've been at work all night, need to sleep, but can't stop watching. Oh, Sue. You can, you can watch on YouTube later, but don't miss out on the new fabrics. Don't. Yeah, it's up to you. It's up to you. I'll tell you what I do. Get, get your quilt, lie on the sofa, get your cup of coffee or your cup of tea. Have you got any a pan au chocolates? I always find them very nice in the morning. Um, oh, you haven't even brought them in? Timothy's got some at home. He's not been in for months, Timothy. Oh, look at this. Now, have a look at the pattern. Again, this is the cotton sateen. Right, do, do distance first. Do distance first. S swirl, swirl, swirl distance. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, you're not... Wait till you see this, right? Wait, I'm going to put on the table for you to do a close-up, right? Because I love this. Now, Hannah couldn't see it earlier. Hannah could not see the print earlier. I think it's taken from, from a very famous painting... And I think it's called Lady, it's like a, a lady, a naked lady. But they, don't worry, you can't, you know, so you see her back washing herself in the mirror. Have a look, it's like the back. You see what I mean? Can you see it? Can you see it? Where are you, where are you? There, look. It's the back of a lady, isn't it? There's different shaped ladies because there's one facing that way and one facing that way. The, uh, uh, you mean Dega? Is it Dega? Dega. Okay, tell me who you mean. Yeah, I thought. Look it up. Look it up, and I'll tell you. Oh, someone's at the door. Uh, anyway, you got the. Can we just pull out just a little bit, Timothy? Because you've got the lovely, very, very delicate, delicate pinks and blues and golds in there in the background. Isn't it gorgeous? It's beautiful. It's cotton sateen. Now, we've called it sateen. They've, Penelope has called it royal satin. But it's definitely 100% cotton. It's just beautiful, isn't it? That's it, that's it, yeah. But, yeah. Um, now, I bet you're sitting home thinking, I love that, John, but I'm not really a pink girl. I'm more of a blue girl. Well, yeah. Uh, oh, you can see a dancing, yeah, Carol can see a dance. Oh, you can see a dancing lady. Right, okay. Oh, yes. She must be, yes, there she is. There she is, like a Calypso dancer. Or a rumba, is she doing a rumba? There she is, can you see her? Look, there's a hat. There's her arm. Oh, I hadn't seen that, Carol. You, you can see it more in the blue one, because I've got it in blue. I've got it in blue coming up now. Now, I would normally say that I would pick the pink, because I think the pink is lovely. But I'm just wondering if I'd go blue on this one. Oh, do you know what? I've, I've gone in the wrong order, but never mind. I think I'd go blue on this one. Let me hold it distance first. <gasps> oh, that's rich. That's lovely, isn't it? That's beautiful. 
Now again, I'm showing you a meter. I'm showing you a meter here, but obviously. Look, now the lady dancing is much more prevalent in this one. Have a look. So you can see the lady dancing there. Another one above there. And then you've got the ladies, uh, lady, the naked lady washing herself. There's a very, very famous painting. It's like, um, it's not a pre-Raphaelite painting, but it's a very, very old painting. It's just very simple of a lady standing at a washstand looking in the mirror. Anyway, I think that's beautiful. They've called it Cotton Sateen Models and Florals Fabric on Blue. 649 for half a metre. Again, it's that lightweight sateen finish. Oh, sorry. Oh, that is lovely. Do you know what? Do you know what? I, I know I say this all the time, but these prints, if you were to go to a shop like Prada or Gucci or something like that, and they made a blouse out of this. Can you imagine how popular it would be? All the celebs would have it on, wouldn't they? Or everyone would be wearing it because it's just, but it's the kind of fabric that you could do a very, very contemporary blouse in, but you could also do a lovely, like ruffle blouse out of that because the weight of the fabric is gorgeous. It would really, really water. Do you know one with wa a waterfall finish? That would really work nicely on that one. So I'm still on the cotton sateens. Now, I'm sorry, I didn't, I, 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 this is the same as the first one I showed you in a different colorway. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I like this one. Let me look at the diff. Oh, now, no, there we go, John, one job. You see, that's got more of a leopardy print to it, that one, doesn't it? Obviously, you can't get lime green leopards, I know that, but do you know what I mean? Only in Hannah's world can you get lime green leopard. Oh, I think that is beautiful. I'll do it the right way up. Oh, I think that's really lovely. Now, it's again, it's cotton sateen. <coughs> Excuse me. Six pounds and 49 pence for half a metre. It's lovely, isn't it? Now, uh, it has to be a very, very lightweight skirt. Do you know what worked well with Hannah? You know, I know I say this all the time, but Hannah's got a, Jaeger, a really lovely Jaeger and I say, I make out that it, it, it's kind of an all-in-one, but the legs are quite wide, not, you know, not right down to the... <gasps> oh, do you know what? This would make the lo most lovely, like, palazzo pants, wouldn't it? Because it would just flow so beautifully. But the all-in-one that you've got, Hannah, would look lovely in these. And they could do pockets in, like, black or something, or trim the pockets in black. It's what, sorry? Yes. Jaeger. I mean, you know, I said Gucci and... Um, Prada earlier, but I can imagine Jaeger making things out of that as well. Obviously, other designers are, are available. Right now, <coughs> I'm going completely off kilter now because I've got denim. I'm, yeah, I'll get that one. I'll bring that one up to the top next. Now, this is denim, denim, but now, have, we, have you got the... Um, if... if Okay, it's 270 GSM, it's eight ounce cotton, and it's like, a, but it hasn't got any, it feels, it hasn't got any stretch in it, right? I don't think it's got any, well, it would have to say if it had any um, lycra in it, but <coughs> the really good weave, because look on the bias, look, it's got lovely stretch on the bias. So if you're making a pair of little cigarette pants, this would, this would be beautiful. Now, it's, a, I, well, this is the colour denim, I was just going to say, this is the colour denim that I like, the dark, dark, dark denim. Rachel, mum loves watching you, John, and she doesn't sew. Don't change, we love you, enjoy your enthusiasm. Thank you, Rachel. Maybe she could start sewing. Maybe I should start giving lessons. Oh, oh, oh. Chris. I've, got, I've suddenly got two screens. No, I haven't pressed any buttons, just touch the screen. 60 inches wide. Now that's a traditional, uh, and that's a lightweight denim. Really lovely. I wouldn't make a jacket, I wouldn't make a denim jacket out of it, but I would make nice tight palazzo pants. You could make, a, it would be a flimsy bag, like a tote bag, not a solid bag. Oh, it's fixed. 
Thank you. You're losing weight, aren't you? Me calling you all the time. Uh, this is only 4.99 for half a metre, and it's 60 inches wide, look. That's really good. I'm seeing hot pants. I am. Not on, not on you, Chris. No, definitely not on you. I'm seeing a little pair of hot pants with lovely pockets. Oh, I've got to think about what to get. No, because whatever I buy for Jay for Christmas, right, it's got to be for him and Danny, hasn't it, in their new house. Oh. Don't be telling... I, I, Hannah's telling everybody what she's bought everyone for Christmas, so somebody will let that slip, and then he'll be upset. Right, GSM is... Oh, brain, 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 brain. Yes, it's... I, 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 hang on. I, I thought this was the same denim. That's not... I'll come back to that in a minute. Uh, oh, grams per square metre. Grams per square metre, isn't it? Yeah, I'm sure it's grams per square metre, but that denim is the eight ounce denim. Oh, there you go, Sh uh, Shortland. Is that, uh, is that your name? Is that your, your first name, Shortland? I don't think it can be, can it? It's quite a nice name, Shortland Scott. Oh, I quite like that. Yeah, yeah, so what is it? Yeah, grams per square metre, that's what it is, grams per... But what we want to start doing, and what I am going to start doing, and Ian, who's in charge of our buying department, this is still, this fabric is not, still not his, because it takes, when you order something, it takes long to get through, get through. When he starts arriving, we're going to have the weight and the, and the um, thread count and all that sort of thing. Now, I have got another denim -y fabric, but it's nothing like that at all. It's a really, really, really lightweight Almost like a pop, just a bit heavier than a poplin. But it's got that, you see now, I'm seeing right now, I'm seeing Audrey Hepburn, I'm seeing nice little um, jeans, tight little jeans to the crop jeans, right? And then a blouse tied like that there. I won't do mine because I don't want you to see my tummy. But you know how you tie a blouse there like that? That's what I'm seeing out of this. This one's 135 GSM, but it's not, it's a very, very lightweight fabric. It definitely, definitely summer. Marilyn Monroe. Do you know the famous picture of Marilyn Monroe in, in the jeans and the little uh, shirt? That's what it is. So I'll take that one out. Sorry. I'll no, you wouldn't put them both together. You wouldn't put them both together. What you could do is if you, you could um, line your pocket or trim your pocket with that one. But you'd make, I'd make a... Um, the lightweight, I wouldn't even call the lightweight a denim. This is not a denim. This is not a denim. It's a law of a Remember we had the um, art gallery ones that were denim effect? This is more like a denim effect. Uh, uh, you could make a really lovely um, kind of lightweight gathered oklahoma -y kind of dress skirt out of that. If you do ho... Uh, ho not ho de hoes they're the wrong... That's not what I mean. Ho-downs. Oh, little children. Oh, a little girl's dungaree dress in that would be lovely. Really nice. And then you know what you then do? You then put a stabiliser on it, you get yesterday's embroidery machine, and you do like a hem of like little girls all holding hands like that around the hem or something like that. Oh, I love the embroidery machine. Yep. Right. I'm going floral now. I've got three florals. Oh, hang on. Right, OK. I've got through, I'm going to show you all three colours. It's a nice, uh, lovely cotton weight, this. This is like a spectrum solid weight, this one. <coughs> no, that, oh. No, that's not, that's this one. That's that one. You're... Okay, right, let's just work them out. Let's just work them out, right? Because we've got three, and the image is on the website. This one's called Feeling Like Spring. Right. This one's pink flowers on grey background, so I'll do that one first. Oh, that's nice. Oh, wait, till three ninety nine, three ninety nine for half a metre. This hundred percent cotton, one hundred fifty centimetre. Oh, is this sixty inches wide as well? Which, well, that, that's fantastic. Now you very rarely see. 
Yeah, 60 inches wide. Oh, so that's pink flowers on grey. No, hang on. No, that's not pink flowers on grey. That's grey flowers on pink. Yeah, we have, we have grey background there. That's why I said put three out so we could decide which is which. So let's just tell us what the, what the three are. Right. Tell me what the three descriptions are and I'll tell you which is which then. Yellow flowers on blue, that's obvious, that's that one. The, so this is aqua flowers on rose. Start all again. Ignore the pictures on the website. Whoever's done the pictures has done the pictures wrong on the website. So we're there. That's why I said you put, oh, look. So this is aqua flowers on rose. Look, look at the leaves. Aren't they gorgeous? Can you see? Do you want to come in a bit closer, Timothy? Because it's got, not only has it got a pink background, it's then got a deeper pink, like, drawing where the leaves are. Uh, yeah, the leaves and the stalk. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Look. Aren't they lovely? So this one is aqua flowers on rose, three ninety nine for half a meter. Okay, now let me just hold this one up for you. Sixty inches wide. Now, I think you're going to want to cut that in different angles when you're cutting something out with that. It's not, come come in close, come in close. Oh, look at my belly sticking out onto the top of the table. I'm not going to do that again. Three, no, don't laugh, Michael. Three ninety nine for half a meter. Oh, I do like that. I do like that one. Right, so that one there is called Aqua Flowers on Rose. We're getting the images changed for you now. That's what Hannah was just doing then. So then I've got yellow flowers on blue, is this one called? I think I'm very hot in here again. Yellow flowers on blue, this one's called. Nice. 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 Look. Oh, okay. Um, Hannah's doing tumbling blocks with this and two other colours. I'm not sure I'd use it in that kind of way. I just think this would work really beautifully in that quilt as you go that we had earlier. Oh, they're coming in nice. I love the way the leaves have been drawn. They've got kind of an Egyptian y butterfly -y feel to them, haven't they? It's only three ninety nine for half meter, hundred percent cotton. Feeling like spring. It's nice it's not on these horrible dark mornings, dark afternoons, something bright and cheerful like that. That's yellow flowers on blue. And then the last one in this range. Is that's a kind I don't I won't say anything until they've decided because it's kind of a coral. Right, they've called this one pink flowers on grey. There's nothing pink about it. It's definitely coral look. No. They've called it pink flowers on grey. Uh, I wouldn't call it either of those. I suppose the, the leaves and the stalk are a dark grey, and the background is a very, very soft, pale grey. But I'd say the front, the flowers, are actually coral and lime green. It is beautiful, though. Beautiful, gorgeous colours. The what, what? Oh, no, lime. It's a lime green. The, the lime green is the centre, yeah. 399 for half metre. 100% cotton. It's coming in close there. Oh! Isn't that lovely? You see, I think this kind of fabric deserves to be chopped and cut in different directions. Do you I mean? If you're making a frock out of it, have the central panel with the flowers going straight like that and then the side panels with them going on an angle and things. 3.99 for half a metre. I've still got more. I've still got, I've got two more fabrics to show you. Three. Three more pieces of fabric to show you. 
Oh, uh, the parrots are real. I'll, I'll do a sum up in a minute, but if you've got the parrots in your basket, please be careful, because it's flying out the basket, the parrots. Flying, literally. Right, now, I knew there was a reason I wore this shirt today. Because I've got swan fabric next. Oh, I've got, I've got mint and I've got grey. Yeah. Again, 3.99 half a metre. Oh, that's cute. 60 inches wide. Six inches right now. Imagine, imagine little blouse. Now, has that got navy blue on it there? Uh, this has got ochre. Oh, ochre. Do you know what? This would look lovely if you made it with something to go with na navy blue. A nice blouse with a lovely navy blue pencil skirt. Or the de jeans from the denim. Or a denim skirt with the denim. And then a really lovely soft blouse out of this. 100% cotton. 60 inches wide. 3 99 for half a metre. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, thanks, Anna. June, I'm looking forward to spending Christmas Day with you too. I'm not going to June's house, don't worry. Don't be getting the veggie food in June, because I won't be... Well, I don't know where... Which, oh, no, you're a bit out of my way. But listen, June, um, I know, and we're all thinking of you. It'll be a bit tough, won't it? But you'll, you'll be fine. We'll be here on Christmas morning all together, won't we? Hannah will be here as well. Hannah's, Hannah's plans have changed now, because you know I told you Hannah's mum and dad were coming for the day. Only because she's got boxing off, she didn't realise. So she, her dad's coming to collect her, and then she's going off to her dad's, mum and dad's for the afternoon and for boxing day, which would be lovely. Um, and now I'm obviously driving up to the Wirral straight after the show. Do you think, do you think um, the service stations are open? Will I be able to stop for a Costa on the way up? Do you think? It must be open on Christmas Day, mustn't they? I can look it up. Yeah, but the petrol bit might be open, but the bit where you go and... Oh, no, because the toilets have to be open, wouldn't they? Just thinking ahead, you know. It's so funny, because yesterday we were in the car, I was in the car with Hannah, and I said, we're like an old married couple, aren't we? I'm like, oh, by the way, on Christmas Day, I can't take you home. <laughs> Just start off, because normally I drop her off in the village, don't I, you see? But I was, because I'd be going the other direction. She goes, all right, my dad's coming to collect my... Um, anyway, so you've not noticed you've got different Christmas decorations in your village. They're all white this year. Yeah, they're normally multicoloured in your village. They're all white. But they were all switched on, right? And there's a big sign saying, this Saturday, Christmas lights switch on. But they were all on this morning when I drove in. Anyway, look at the swans. Swans gliding. This, this, this sums up what life here looks like we're swimming along so gracefully. But underneath the water, our legs are paddling like bilio to keep us, up, you know. Not afloat, that's the wrong word. You know what I mean? It's just the right word for a swan, because you don't want to sink, do you? We like them. We like them. Because swans, they make for life. You know, they're, 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 it's imprinting, isn't it? So when a swan is born, the first thing it sees when it comes out of its shell it thinks it's his mother. So if you happen to be sitting watching a swan being born out of an egg, no, it's not born, it's hatched from an egg, and it sees you, it'll think you're its mum. I don't know, it's called, isn't it called imprinting or something like that? Anyway, last fabric. I knew I wore this shirt for some reason today. So if you want to do a John Scott-esque blouse, Oh, look, little boy's pyjamas, I'm thinking. Look. 3 99 half a metre, 100% cotton. Multicoloured camping vans. They're not called camping, are they? They're campers. I wonder who's named these. This is just called transporter. I don't think they're transporters, either. Oh, aren't they lovely? I love the way they've been coloured in. They're camper vans, they're not camping vans. Do you know what? Oh, it could be camper vans trademarked, is it? No, I don't think so. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, when I did Goat in the Darkness in South Africa, 
we normally when you do a film, they give you a rather nice car to drive around in. They gave me a camper van, right? And I had to have it converted so the whole of the back was empty. <coughs> and in the morning, I'd go around collecting all my ladies that worked for me in the costume department from all their townships. And I'd start off in Badclass, and then I'd get to Iliquitini, then I'd get to Song and Velo, and then there was another one on the way. And I'd have to pick them all, and at the end of the day, I'd drop them all off. I, I loved it. I loved I hated the film I worked on. It was called Ghost in the Darkness. Um, I had a really, really tough time on the film, but my ladies were just amazing. I was there for a year, and in that time, um, two of them had, had babies. Two of my ladies had babies. And then that's where the, there's two children, two children called John Scott running around. One's in Iliquitini and one's in Babplas, and they're both called John Scott. One's a little boy and one's a little girl. Princess Peach's John Scott in Cozy, she's called. She'll be about, ooh. Oh no, hang on, how old will she be? And they don't write to them anymore. She'll be in her 20s, no. When was the ghost, when did I do Ghosts in the Darkness? No, I, I think they're not my children, I didn't give birth to them. Yes. Oh, happy memories. I'll bring, I'll bring, keep, mean, keep meaning. Oh, do you know what? No, I won't do that on Christmas. I must bring in some pictures of me on my filming when I was on films. Anyway, this is lovely, look. 3.99 for half a meter. Who's she chatting to now? Look, I love it. Multicolored vans on white background. Right, that's it. That's it, I better do a sum up now, isn't I? What time is it? Oh, blimey, it's 22 already. Normally, when I've gone through them, it's only about quarter past, but I think I've been a little bit self-indulgent today. I have got more fabrics in the... Um, now, they're very different to this, my fabrics in the 11 o'clock hour. So if you're loving these, they won't be repeated. Is that what? Same. No, 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 it's, it's cotton. Cotton. No, not cotton canvas, just cotton. Straightforward cotton, like the swans and the flowers. Right, okay, summing up time. Right, parrots. These went in the basket from the minute we showed it. It's a heavy, very, very heavy cotton, this one. Oh, I love it. No, I haven't, I, no, we haven't heard from Lorraine yet today. Oh, Lorraine, have you not come in for this? Lorraine does, um, she makes things and then has a charity store, you know, like does um, charity Christmas fairs. And she'd want a Saturday. She said, no one came through the door. She wasn't happy. Well, it obviously wasn't advertised, was it? But normally it's cold at a Christmas fair. Right, it's a 6.49 for half a metre. Loads and loads in the basket. Are we in, are we uh, in, uh, uh, am I in, um, giving a stock warning or anything yet? Oh, we, got, we bought lots of it, apparently, bought lots of it. Beautiful. Now, are they macaws? What kind of parrots are they? Oh, they're just parrots, because it's all the same parrot, isn't it? Oh, no, it's a boy and a girl, I think. One's got a blue head, one's got a red head. I think they're gorgeous. I might have to be taking this piece home and putting this one in my bathroom. No, no, I brought the other one back. I didn't keep it. <gasps> I'm sorry, I'm coming round. Look at this, it's a really lovely 50s skirt. Look. Doesn't it look lovely when it's all pleated up and gathered up? It's very carnival, isn't it? Oh, do you know what? You can make a lovely 50... Do you know what you could make? A really lovely... It's heavy, it's heavy cotton, but you could make like a sweetheart neckline, fitted little bodice, big skirt, little belt, like a really lovely 50s ballerina length dress out of that. And it's lovely and wide. Um, Hannah, who wouldn't wear that, is thinking weekend bag. Oh, do you know what? There's a book coming up in the next hour. Right, I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm not, I know I shouldn't do this, but I'm going to, I don't care. What was the name of the bag you loved, Hannah, the week? 
You called it the weekend bag, didn't you? This is, this is for the next hour, so I can't show. Look, 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 look. Wouldn't this, was this the one? Is this the one, isn't it, Hannah? Wouldn't that look lovely in this, right? But using other, you could use the denim, you could use the denim there, you could use the parrots there, and then just get a spectrum solid. That's the, that's the book in the next hour that completely sold out last time. I'll just leave it there. Completely sold out last time. That would, look that would look lovely in that bag, wouldn't it? Yeah, you could. Uh, what, you'd, what I'd say is you could quilt on the bag, like because you're cross hatching or something on the bag. No, you could do the shape of the leaf if you want to. What, freehand motion? Because there's the cheese plant again. Oh, and then, uh, is that a thing? Is it cheese plant leaf quilting? Hannah's going to do a masterclass in cheese plant leaf quilting. Oh, she's not there yet. She'll have to buy a new machine, won't she? Okay, right, that's got to go to my house. Only, only, I'm not, getting, not nicking it, I'm just going to drape it in the bathroom, see if it works. Oh, camper vans went straight, after parrots, camper vans went straight into the lead. Look. See the two together. No one's trying to know about it. There you go. They're different camper vans, aren't they? Mine have got a little V on the front of white, whereas these have got different colours on them. Anyway, very, very popular, the multicoloured camping vans, 3 99 for half a metre, 60 inches wide. Let me know what you're making out of them. Let me know what you're going to use them for. Or you just put them in your stash. Do you know what would be lovely as well? With this and, the, well, any of these, but mainly this and the swan one, if you're making a really formal bag and you want a, a kind of a funky lining inside, I mean, I know it's not really lining fabric, but it looked nice, wouldn't it, inside? Oh, yeah, dark blue denim. I knew this would be popular. Six inches wide. Lovely, lovely dark. I love that colour of denim. Now, it's the eight ounce, eight ounce. Denim, 4 99 half a metre. That's half a metre. I don't think you need a denim needle, denim needle with this, but what you, where you will need the denim needle is if you're going to do the run and fell seams with the bright orange, because you, you can buy extra strong thread to do the... Um, is it on the... Where have we got that on the website? Oh, we've got denim thread on the website. Uh, you might need your, your denim needle to go through all the layers, that's all. Oh. Nice, isn't it? I'm still seeing hot pants, though. No, but then I think I'm shaped like Kylie Minogue anyway, so. Well, oh, I'm too tall. Too tall to be Kylie Minogue. I know, she's very, very petite. When I met her, she's very, very, very petite. She's like smaller than Little Paul. And that's the same. That's very small. And then, you see, let me show you the other denim very quickly. I think... If you go, if you make um, a skirt or some trousers or some shorts out of the indigo denim, then this is a, they're calling it denim. It's a really, really lightweight um, denim look lawn. No, a bit heavier than a lawn. Poplin, poplin. Lovely blouse. Really, really lovely blouse. That would make 3 99 for half a metre. Okay. Now, the ladies, lean left behind. Maybe it's because it's sateen. Maybe it's because, you see, I don't think you could quilt with a sateen, could you? I think the sateen definitely has to be a fashion. I might, I'm quite willing to be proved wrong, but I don't know, I've never, I've never seen any of our, you know, I've never seen Lucy or Joe or anybody or Angie, Joy, making a quilt out of a sateen before. It's just got that, and that finish will stay. When you wash it, that finish will stay. So this is the uh, models and florals on lilac, they're calling this one. It's definitely more of a pinky, oh, no, there's lilac in there, I suppose. 6.49 for half a metre. Okay, and then it also comes in blue. Is that all? Oh. And it comes... 
Do you know what? I think whoever bought the air conditioning bought the cheapest air conditioning in the world. It's suddenly now blowing like boiling, boiling hot. Isn't it, Michael? You cannot feel it over there. But it's boiling hot. It's been fine all day, and then suddenly it's just... <sighs> duck. This is the ladies on blue. I definitely like the blue one best. Six forty nine for half a meter. How's my flamingos and daisies doing? Very popular. I'll go to that next. Okay, we love that. I think that's very, very designer that fabric. Okay, so I'll put that there. Flamingos with the daisies and the blossom. It's called spring spring flamingos. This one. There you go, top three, parrots, flamingos, and camper vans. This is a heavyweight cotton, this one. A heavyweight, but not heavy. Oh, again, now, I'm going to just go, let me just do a 50 skirt. Always. Actually, let me try and make this one a bit, oh, no, it'll be too short like that. Okay, nearly half the stock of the camper vans have gone. Right, I've not made a 50 skirt, I've made a puffball skirt on this one, by accident. I'm just going to do it full length. Stay where you are, because I'm just going to do it properly now. Then. Box pleat, box pleat, box pleat, gather, gather, gather. You see what I mean? Look at that, I'd make a lovely, lovely skirt, wouldn't it? More subtle. A bit more subtle than the um, parrots. You come to look at it gathered? No? Do you mean? It's lovely. And then you pleat it, you'd have a whole row of like daisies together and a whole row of flamingos look together. Beautiful. Oh, do you know what would be nice? I'm just thinking if you made something out of the denim and then just trimmed it, like the deep. So that's dark, the dark blue denim, right? And then just trimmed it. I'm not doing that. Come on, job, one job. Right, and then get your denim. Did you like kind of waistband or your pockets or something and just, just in the floral, just in the, in the flamingo, see what I mean? Pockets in that, big patch pockets be nice. Oh, yes, Kirsten, you're right. No, you're right. I, I should have known that because it was from yesterday. Cave, when, when you get a cave quilt, the backing of cave quilts are a sateen, aren't they? It's about, do you, uh, yeah, you still quilt through it, don't you? No, you don't. Maybe, maybe I was doing my typical getting quilting and patching muddled up. Who knows? Who knows? I could be completely wrong. Okay, so let me just fold that one up and I'll fold up the flamingo. Oh, do you know? Yes, Suzanne. Now, Suzanne, um, uh, uh, you know, in, uh, I can't speak, uh, in a children's hospital, and they have the, to make the nurses and doctors more, less frightening, they give them like lovely coloured, um, what do, what's they called, the green things that they wear? No, no, not the gowns. You know, they wear the trousers. My brother wears them all the time. I think they might be just called greens, where they wear the trousers and the little V-neck tops and everything. They wear just every day round the, round the... They make them out... The camper van fabric would be lovely. Oh, no. Right, hang on, I'll just put that into English. Uh, nearly... No, hang on. More than half, more than half of this has been checked out. More than half the stock that we've got this available has been checked out. So if you make, what do you call them? They call, they call them, um, they're not gowns. Cause I don't mean the operating. Scrubs. Scrubs, that's exactly what it is. Because uh, my brother wears them when he's not doing his consulting and he's got his suit and his tie on. When he's wandering around the hospital, he wears the green ones. Or the pale blue, I think, maybe, in his hospital. But you're right, you're right. That'd be lovely because the kiddies wouldn't be frightened by that, would they? Oh, that's a lovely idea.
Three ninety nine. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going straight off. I'm going to have my hummus and rice cakes and go straight off today. And I'll get Friday printed up and then I'll be off. Are you off out or do you want to go lift home? Look at us doing our domestics. Oh, okay. You going where? Do you say? Oh, of course you are. Yeah. Oh no. Do you need any of my cough medicine or anything? Oh, okay. Nice, nice. Yes, it's just, I won't share it with you at home. Hannah's not feeling very well there. Next, flowers or swans? Swans on mint. This, again, is very Prada to me. Feels very, very Prada. It's nice, isn't it? With a navy blue. Where is this one? With a navy blue. Oh, yeah, if you made a denim bag and put that as the lining inside the bag, that'd be nice. <coughs> yeah, because it's not a lining fabric, but it'd be a good... The thing is, when you're making a bag, you, the lining almost sometimes has to be stronger than the outside. Because if you think about, you've got a bag... I haven't got one here with me. Oh, you have. Hang on, wait there. Right, and you think about the lining, right? The outside... Yes, just wait there, Joe. So the outside you just carry, it looks pretty like this. But if you think, potatoes in, potatoes out, shopping in, shopping out, bag in, phone in, phone in, book in, book out. Do you know what I mean? So the lining sometimes have to be, has to be more sturdy. Anyway. Could you do a shirt? Oh, yeah, the, the here, like this. So make a white shirt and then put that in there. And this one hasn't got a different button. Oh, yes, it does. Has, 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 has. Oh, no, it's only got a ribbon on that one. It hasn't got a different. Um, yes, because so you could do, put the swans in the cuff, couldn't you, then? Nice. Yeah, very nice, Hannah. I'd make a navy blue blouse to put it in, mind you, rather than a white one, personally. With a grey one, white blouse, maybe. Grey one's very, very popular. Don't stand like that with your hands on your hips. And all like that, honestly. Oh, poor old Hannah. Have we got a standby producer in case Hannah needs to be replaced? No, not you. <laughs> Chris has been here a week. Yeah, I'll do it. Oh, is he? Not with me, because I won't be able to understand what he's saying. No offence, like, but, you know. Who was it we had? Who did, where we worked before, who was it that started producing it? It was like... Oh, I don't know what they're saying to me. And they're talking to me constantly for the four hours as well in my ear. No. I won't say anything. 3.99. I noticed Aisha's back on Facebook as well. She, she's added everyone but me. 3.99. Thought she was my friend. Well, no, because it came up as people you might know. And I thought, oh, I do know Aisha. And then I was like, oh, we're not friends. And it was like, you have 37 mutual friends. I was like... So she's added everyone but me. It's fine. She could never have forgot about me. In fact, right. right, sum up. I've only got two minutes left. Right, camper vans is in number one place. Oh, for one minute, anyway. Loads of people getting that. So, Three, nine, nine people multi buy. Oh, I forgot. one thing I haven't said to you. If you want more than a metre and a half, you do have to ring the call centre. Mind you, it's so wide. It's so wide, isn't it? So this is a metre. That's a metre. I'd love to know what you're going to make out of it. Love to know what you're going to make out of that. I wonder. Or if you just got it in the stash ready for the spring. Anyway, that's the uh, camp event. Then parrots. I've already folded that one up nicely to take that one home as well. This is gorgeous, though. I do love fabrics like this. Look at the width. Oh, 60 inches wide. Oh, it's so gorgeous and tropical, isn't it? that cheer you up. If you saw that in the morning, that'd cheer you up, wouldn't it? Well, my bathroom, the walls in my bathroom are bright pink, like they're carnival pink. And then the bath and everything are all white. And then on the floor, I've got grey, 
glitter, it sounds awful now, I've explained this, hasn't it? Got grey sparkly tiles on the floor. It looks lovely, thank you. Oh, blimey. I think Victoria's found all those bags you were looking for earlier, Hannah. Yeah. Six pounds and 49 pence for half a metre. Where were they? What do you mean? Honestly. Anyway, I'm moving on. What was the other one? Oh, now, the two denims are very, very popular. One is, one is what you'd call a traditional denim, eight-ounce denim, this one. I think people are buying them together, you see. People are buying them together. Right, so that's 4 99 for half a metre. It's not stretch. It's 100% cotton. It's not stretch, but the bias has got a lovely stretch to it. Look. Oh, hang on. Let me do that in shot. The bias has got a lovely stretch to it there. And then this one is more of your blouse weight, your summer weight, Marilyn Monroe on the beach in the jeans, cut off jeans. Uh, don't go anywhere. Uh, you put the graphics for that one in or not? Okay. Uh, Victoria is up next, making the Lottie bag from a book that last time they brought it on air, sold out within the hour. We've got it back today. Um, the same thing could happen again today. Uh, lot, we've got lots and lots of bags to show you from the book. We thought they'd all gone back, but Victoria's found them. We will see you in three minutes. Don't forget to check out your parrots. Don't forget, oh, definitely check out your um, camper van, because that's definitely going to sell out in the hour. And um, I will see you in three minutes. Have you got my fruit? <sighs> Where's Jay when you need him? I'll see you in three minutes from now. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. As soon as you place an order with us, we get to work on making your shopping experience that extra bit special. Our warehouse team pick your items and cut your fabric with the greatest care and precision. Cut fabric is neatly folded and packed in a tissue paper lined presentation box. And when we're satisfied that it's just perfect, it gets the sewing quarter seal of approval. So whether you're giving a gift or treating yourself, you can shop with confidence, knowing your sewing quarter purchases will arrive in style. So I'm going to be showing you how to do an ease stitch. Um, it's very similar to our running stitch here, um, but the purpose of it would be different. So I've kind of mocked uh, the head of a sleeve here. Nine times out of ten you will have to ease the top section of your sleeve. So this is the stitch that you would do that with if you were going to do it with hand. So I'm going to use the embroidery thread. I've just popped a knot on the end again just so it doesn't pull through. But normally you wouldn't do it with um, embroidery thread. So on your sleeve, normally these sections will need to be kept as they are because it's only this section here that we need to be working with. So I'm going to be doing a running stitch quite close to the edge of the fabric. I'm just going to do the quick method here where you're pulling the needle through the fabric while keeping it on the same needle. So I'm going to stop there and then pull that all the way through like so. So you can see that I've got just that section sewn there and then as I begin to pull you can see that I'm easing the head of my sleeve in. So when that is stitched these curves should disappear, they shouldn't be there because you've eased the bigger section into a smaller section on the clothing. So that's easing. Tune in on Saturday the 2nd of December when the brilliant Alistair MacDonald from House of Alistair will be in the studio with us. Kicking off the Christmas month in style, Alistair is back with some of your favourite fabrics and tools. And if you need some quick stitch Christmas gift ideas, then Alistair has plenty of inspiration for you with unique makes for your loved ones. So join Alistair from 8am on Saturday the 2nd of December for advice from the experts. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us even if it's just to ask a question? Our friendly team are always on standby. You can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433, email us at help at sewingquarter.com visit our Facebook page.
follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Twitter at Sewing Quarter and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air. Simply Sewing is a magazine for dressmakers and home sewists who are passionate about fabrics and love to sew with stylish patterns. Each issue is packed with technical know-how, templates and easy to follow instructions to sew yourself quick wardrobe updates, accessories, plushy toys, gifts, bags and more. Plus, each issue comes with a free dress pattern from our expanding trend-led collection. We're proudly flying the flag for contemporary sewing with stylish patterns and beautiful photography to inspire sewists across the globe at every level. I was just reading the book and I just heard that music thinking, oh, that's like the start of the show again then. All uh, right, before I get on with the bag, because there's lots to this hour, so I'll, I'll be forward to that. If you have want to get any of our Christmas um, advent calendar panels or this lovely little Paul's washing line, the panel, the panel, the panel, go to our website, right? All the Christmas panels are 40% off. So this did cost 6 99 It's now £4.19. £6.99, £4.19. But you have to buy them on the web. Oh, look, that's the one under the telly there. That's that one under the telly there. Just go to the website, www.sewingquarter.com. Click on, the, there's, a, there's one of these on the front page. Click on it, it'll take you straight to a special bit of the shop where all the panels are there. Um, <coughs> won't be with you in time for the 1st December, but good for next year, good for next year. Right. Oh, and I've been told if you want that one, be quick. Been very popular this morning. Right. Uh, Victoria's done this book before. When she did it, um, it sold out. It sold out completely within the hour. We've got it back in, um, and we've already got people asking about it, people saying, I'm going to put it in basket. I need that bag book. I need that bag book. I'll flick through it. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll flick through it for you afterwards. But there are 20 different patterns. Now, you get all the patterns and the instructions, loads of photographs. Uh, the reviews on this book have been incredible. $14.99. It makes it, can you believe, 75p per pattern. And there's full-size pattern pieces in there. There's full-size pattern pieces in there. All, I'll go through it afterwards. It's got all the techniques at the beginning and everything like that. Now, last time Victoria was on doing it, she did this, which is the Margaret bag. And this completely and utterly, the kit sold out for this. So what we've done is we've created the fabric kits. Not all the D-rings and the straps and everything like that, but just the fabrics to make this. I've got the zip, I've got the strap and everything to show you later. Uh, two different bundles, right? So this is the Tilda bundle here. So I'm thinking you have an awful lot of fabric left over. These are fat eights, these are. And then you've got the linen effect fabric there. And you've got the linear. So you get a metre of the linear and half a metre of the linen effect. The fat eights and all of that for £64.49. I've also got a kaif bundle, which means you get a kaif facet fat quarter pack in blue. You get the dark blue linen effect and you get the cornflower uh, spectrum solid there. A meter of that, half a meter of that, and the fat quarter, five of them, 32 pounds and 49 pence. And with that, <coughs> I do apologise. You could make this bag. Uh, obviously, you need to buy the straps and the zips and everything like that with it. I've got some accessories coming up later if I can fit them in. If not, they'll be on the website after the show. Okay? But today's bag is the one we showed you earlier, the Lotte. Lotte. Um, now, this it comes in two different colourways. The bundles we've done for this are in two different colourways. We've got blue, which is the one Victoria's made here. And we've got one in red that she's going to demonstrate with now. Um, so you get two and a half metres of the fabric. So in this one, there you go, you get a metre of the, uh, like, doves, a metre of the gingham, and half a metre of, oh, that's canvas. That's canvas fabric, that one there. £26.49. 
Okay, we've obviously added Rick Rack and all sorts of decorate. There's also a fabric behind there, which um, must be from your stash. Um, 26 pounds and 49 pence. Okay, and the red one that Victoria is about to make now, um, I need to talk to Chris about the fabric. So that is your main canvas fabric there, of which you get meter. You get a no, no, that's it, that's it. I'll show it to you, hang on. Yeah. It's not as heavy as you think this fabric's nice, isn't it? I'm gonna sneeze. Yes, sir! Oh, excuse me. No, 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 no. Because uh, Mike was saying, what's it look like on the back? It's got the embroidery. You couldn't use the back because it's got the embroidery bit. I, I didn't sneeze on the fabric, don't worry. Anyway, you get that, you get the red, a meter. And then you get that lovely blue canvas there. You get half a meter of that. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'll get uh, Chris to tidy that up. Right, you've got lots to do, so I'll try and shut up while you're doing it. Right. Let's just move these out of the way. Right. The book flew out last time, didn't it? Yes, it, it did. It Absolutely. totally flew out. I think it was within 20 minutes. It and all went. you've spoken to Debbie yes, the lady, Yes, I spoke to you? Debbie, and she is so lovely. She's just passionate about all types of sewing. She's a quilter by heart. Oh, OK. And you can see that reflected in a lot of the bag designs that she's done. But she does a lot of bag work. Yes. And she's written a really lovely book that's got really great instructions in it. Um, the beginning half of the book... Uh, focuses on all the different techniques. techniques and then those techniques are applied to each of the different bag patterns and you get the bag pattern and the, the full size patterns in there yes for 75p 75p <laughs> 75p a pattern per pattern right okay nearly a third of the stock's gone already oh good we're already started nearly a <laughs> and we've got I'll more go this time um, can, i'll just flick right techniques 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 at the beginning and they're good step-by-step -step photographs for each of the techniques it really walks you through that yeah. and then you can apply them into different bag patterns you see and then you so then you get to the projects they've all got ladies names they do oh how funny hannah oh, hannah she's already made this our oh, hannah doesn't look quite like that one was our first attempt uh anyway and then at the back there all the life-size patterns you need at the back there right so 14 19 but please be careful because over a third of the stock has been checked out already Right, I'll let you get on this Zoom time. Through. So we're making the, the Lotta bag. Yes. Um, it uses a fair amount of interfacing, and Debbie suggests don't scrimp on the interfacing. Oh, okay. Don't think, oh, I'll be fine without it, because it actually makes a massive difference to the structure of the bag, how it looks and how it stands. Because you can see this <coughs> one stands up quite well on its own with yes. nothing in it. Yes. Um, but if you don't use the right interfacing, it's just going to look... OK, so before we start making the... I've got several interfacings here. Which, oh, yes, one so did, which ones did you use? So oh, hang on, I've got, got loads here. I've got some of... Hang on, let me just move that out of the way then. I've used this one. Right. The H640. OK, it's RPGQ40 is the uh, item code. Which is a fusible fleece. Right, a so fusible it's like, fleece. It's like a thin fleece that's fusible on one side. OK, so you get a metre of that, so it's fusible, fleece, and that, well, that is that. So this, this bag's actually got two different interfacings on okay. the front. So this one, uh, we start off with interface, this fusible this fleece one. on here. Okay. And then what's and the then second one? And then we've used the foam. OK, and then this one here, which is XFGQ02. This is the one that smells of spring rolls. When you get this one is out it? of the packet... Hang on. No, I think mine must have been out of the pack for too long. No. Good grief. Oh, no, that one's not as not strong. When Janice was on, I kept saying, have you had spring rolls? I was going to say, bed? maybe she had spring rolls. No, 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 it was the piece of fabric. Anyway, that's that one. That's 10.99, one metre. It comes already cut like that And that's like the that style, Bill. OK, brilliant. Style bill. And this is great. She uses this in quite a few of her bags, <coughs> and that comes in a one metre piece. OK, fine. And then we'll come to those later. We'll yes, come to those, those ones, ones I haven't later. used in this bag. So I just think it's important, because if she says... Don't fleece, no, don't, don't fleece, skimp. don't skimp on the fleece. It's important to know which fleece is you Yeah, use. she says it's like having a good bra. OK, good so foundation. So a good yeah. foundation mm. garment, good underwire bra makes all the difference oh, to your silhouette. Underwired, oh, underwired, con all controversial. Oh, okay, anyway, let's move on. Anyway, good undergarments yes. make for a better shape. Yes. The same thing as with bag making. OK. So with this, I've prepped one side of the bag. Right. Um, and I can show you part of the prep for the second side of the bag. OK, brilliant. I've, I've started work on this because when you attach your fusible fleece, you have to take your time. Right. You can't rush it. You set your iron on, I think it's number two, two dots, and you use a pressing cloth. 
Um, so I as, lay down. As in, as in a pressing cloth like a tea towel or as in like our June Taylor Teflon cloth? I use both. Oh, okay. Because you cut your fusible fleece slightly bigger, you don't want to adhere it to your right. ironing surface. So I place the Teflon cloth down first. Okay. I then place this down. I then get my fabric pressing cloth and I absolutely soak it wet. Oh, Under okay. the tap, soak it wet, squeeze it out, then lay it on top. Yes. And then I take the iron and I put the iron on, let go. Yes. Count to 15. Oh, Pick that it up. Much. Oh, okay. Put it down, count to 15. And you can see, because it dries your cloth as yes. you go, so you know where you've been, but it takes ages to put it okay. on. But really do that because then it sticks properly. And then Eugene Taylor was again on, against your ironing board, so the yep. nothing went on so your ironing board. So it didn't stick on my ironing board underneath. Um, uh, the June Taylor's there at uh, 15.99. We have, uh, where's the one? I gave Chris one yesterday. Couldn't find it. Okay. And we'll find it. We'll but find we weren't it. we yeah, weren't okay. actually using it no, today okay. because we didn't have time to sit and watch me stick no, of course. it facing on. Um, so once that's stuck on, let it cool and let it set. Let the, Which is what you were saying earlier. Yeah. Make sure before you carry on that it has properly that set. That it has then. actually properly set. Uh, now this bag is made from um, essentially two different sections yes. in the book. And you get the pattern pieces in the back and I've traced the pattern pieces onto paper right. to, do, to cut out these. Um, and the instructions tell you to join the base to the top. But Debbie is a big fan of embellishing bags. Right. And she says, use trims, braids, whatever you can find to make your bag more personal yeah, to you. Yeah, of course, yes, of course. Um, but what I've done is, is, she says, if you don't have braid, you can make a strip that you can add on right. from fabric. So that's yes. what I've done. But what I... So that's part of the bundle. I was just looking, that's in the bundle, Yes, I've used it? the yeah. lining yeah, fabric. Yeah, yeah. Um, because then it just echoes. I think it's nice. I've done yeah. the same thing here with the uh, the gingham. I've used the gingham yeah. that was used on the lining. Brilliant. So rather than just making a strip, because she says make a strip and, and turn over a hem on each side and stick that on the top. What I've done is I've actually included that in that seam oh, between okay. the top and the bottom. So is that, lo is that loose? So that's oh, loose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so that you can see I've just attached that in the middle. Yes. So um, she says, once you've attached those... I'm going to interrupt again. Yep. You just leave that loose or will you top that, stitch that down? Um, I'm going to stitch that down when we attach it to the foam. Okay. Um, but what she does suggest to do is one, when you, once you've got this fusible fleece on, is to quilt. Right. So to quilt the top of your top section of your bag. And um, Debbie's suggestion is to do them an inch apart. I've gone for an inch and a half because yep. it was a little quicker. And um, you've cross-hatched cross on yes, both it, of them. Yes, she you? suggested cross-hatch, but you can do any design you like. Yeah. You could do something free motion. Oh, but I quite like, I quite like that neat cross-hatching well. on there. I do. So I've already done one direction, so I thought I would show you how I do the other direction. Of course. Um, and I'll just take my ruler, and because this line is at the other end, I'm just going to flip the ruler over. And I've got... On your rulers, you'll have 45 degree angle lines on them. And one of mine's here. I've got the ruler back to front. Yeah, there's, there's one at the other end where it's black, but it's just so you won't sit here. Yeah, so I've, I've placed this line against the seam between the top and bottom of the bag. And I'm going to run the ruler along to start in this very corner edge. Right. I'm just going to turn Ooh. it around so I can... Um, now, I mark, depending on... How I'm feeling and what I can find in my sewing room. I'll either use a tracing wheel or I'll use a marker pen. Oh. Or a hero marker. Either or. So if you've got a tracing wheel, yeah. you can run that along the side. So you've not got any tracing paper, you're literally no, just marking I'm with just oh, marking. I see, it and just And you can see it just gives you a little indentation. Yeah, that's so all you I'll, want really, isn't it? It's all you need um, to begin with. I'll turn that on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew that very first line. Okay, gonna, now you've got your walking foot on this time. Uh, yes, I've got walking foot on this time because next uh, we're going to be sewing through the fabric, the fusible fleece and the foam. So you're getting more and more layers. Yeah. And I just find that it works better when you're doing bag making to be using a walking foot if you've got of one. Of course, yeah. So I've increased my stitch length because it's sort of more of a decorative stitch that we're doing. I'm just going to run along that line. Okay, half of the stock of the bag book has been checked out already. Oh, fabulous. 
So once I've done that one line, you can then go back, and I find it then easier to mark on your additional lines. Michelle's already got the book. She's bought the book, and she said, can't wait to master her first bag making from it. Ah, oh, yes. The, the instructions are really good, so you should be absolutely fine. Now she's got her she shed in the garden as well. She's, her husband's built a clint has bought a, built her this wonderful like, log cabin in the garden well, just I for her and her sewing. I hope he's put some heating in there. Oh, I imagine so. Now, what's important when you're quilting this is to make sure that you try and vary the direction that you travel in. Right. So you go oh, you do up vary. one, up and down. So you're going up and down rather than all, all of them going this oh, way because okay. you might get a bit of creep. And suddenly your bag goes a bit skewy. Oh no, you don't want that. No. So, <coughs> sorry, have you marked each uh, line? I've only marked two at the moment, right. just because I wasn't sure this yeah. wheel's slightly different to mine. You could use a disappearing ink marker if you like. Take your time when you're doing this at home. Just take your time. Yeah, take your time. And use a, an ink marker if you feel more comfortable, if yes. you're not quite so sure about where your lines are going. Yeah. Okay. Book's going to sell out. Just so you know, the book, I haven't even ch had a chance to show you through the book at the moment, but the book will sell out. And then this is the blue bundle here, which is this one that we've... That, that, um, there's, oh, there's the still. Um, the Lottie Bag Blue Bundle that Victoria's already made, £26.49. I've just realised why one of my lines looked a bit wide, and that's a six and a half inch ruler, isn't it? Oh. Um, Schoolboy error. So one of my lines are a bit too wide apart. So now, if you did that in real life, and you did one of your lines a little bit too wide, would you then unpick it, or would you then do every third line a bit wider? I think I would look at it from a distance, and decide how big a disaster that was. Right. And just think, does it really matter if one of them's slightly yeah. different? And if one is slightly different and it's not that noticeable, then I'd probably just leave it. Um, but yes, if it was too noticeable, I would probably unpick it. So you're only going as far as the seam between the red and the stripe? You're yes. not going any lower than no, that? No, not going any further than that. And um, I've made a change to Debbie's pattern. Hope she doesn't. Mind. Oh, how cute! She suggests cutting this section out in the middle, but I've before left you it quilt. Before you quilt, but I thought that might sort of get in the way, and oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's harder yes. to eyeball across a gap. Yes. Whereas if you're just sewing in a straight line, okay. I thought that was easier. While easier. you sew that, um, can I just show people around yeah, the different go through bags the book. and the, the different um, uh, bags in inside the book? Because there's all the techniques, all the techniques, all the techniques. But you want to see the bags, don't you? So hang on, let's get, here we go, the bags. They've all got um, ladies' names. We've got the, oh, I've done it, Lorne. Oh, I'm going to struggle, apparently, with your, no, no, I've more. Liesl can do that one. From the Sound of Music. Oh, yeah. Uh, Shirley can do that one, Shirley Bassey. And Shirley Ballas. Shirley Steve. Oh, now, did you see <laughs> Alexandra Burke called her Arlene, Arlene this week? When she had, oh, thank you for your comments, Arlene. <gasps> oh, really? Oh, dear. I know. Tilda can do that one. But look at her. No, forget the I'm sorry. Ruler. Hannah. Um, it's all the different designs. And then, you know, sometimes you get back and think, oh, that's just a bigger version of that one. These are all completely and utterly different. Claudia. Winkleman. We can do the whole <laughs> st Strictly Gum Dance again. And now this is the one we're doing now. Uh, Lottie, I called it. You called it? Lotta. 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 It feels like you should say it. They're slightly Scandinavian accent. OK. They are all Scandinavian. Mini. Oh, Mina. 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 It's just that beautiful, aren't they? The photographs are amazing. Annalena. Now, that's very Norwegian. Margaret from the village. Margaret. Uh, Margaret. We've got Van Bundles to make the Margaret. That's the one you made last time. Krista. Now I've got some of these, but I've got some of these bags here, which I'll show you in a second. Ingrid. Oh, that's one you love, isn't it, Hannah? We've got Ingrid here, actually. Yeah, Ingrid's great. It's Ingrid vast. is in the studio as we speak. 
Uh, then we've got Ina. I had a friend called Ina Retrack. <laughs> Ina who? Ina Retrack. <laughs> Gertrude. No. Nice, I quite I like think. Gertrude. Yeah, I, I think like Gertrude my youngest well. might be receiving a Gertrude. Oh, shh. Trixie. Fifi Trixabel. I've got a friend called Fifi Trixabel. Nice, isn't it? Sylvia. My godmother was Sylvia. Oh, was she? Yeah. Uh, now, I was going to say this one. Daughter. Daughter. I wonder if you think of the umlaut over the O, that's like on Zoe, isn't it? So does that not make it a loud O? Because I suddenly thought it made, meant it go, ugh, like that. And then I went, oh, this bag's called dirty. You know, no, that oh, no, can't be right. Oh, no, that can't be right. That can't be right. Because Debbie's husband is German. So say that again. Debbie's husband is German. Oh, maybe that's where that comes from. Uh, Kirsten. Dunst. Work with her. Uh, Helga. <laughs> it's like your CV. I know. Sad, isn't it? My CV in the bag, like, the bag book. Karen. See, she's like on to Strictly. Oh, yes. Karen Clifton. Yeah, you spend your Karen differently that time. Uh, let me just show you these different bags. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So, these are from... Oh, there you go. These are from the... Uh, for, that's a Margaret in a different version. Yes, isn't it? That's yes. Your... That one's <coughs> exactly the one from the book. These ones are Deb... So, these ones Debbie's made. Yes. These ones, but we haven't got these fabrics. These are the ones that Debbie's made. So, we've got that one. I'm going to test you now on the names. See if you're oh, watching. Oh. So, that's the Margaret. I've done the first one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you cheat. <laughs> uh, you don't need to do that. Look, aren't they lovely? Uh, oh, I can do this one. No, that's a no, lotto, isn't it? No. Oh, no, it's different. No, that one's got a bigger, wider base. Yes. And slightly straighter sides, and it's got the shoulder loop. Tilda, I think that one's called. Anyway, then I've got the bigger ones. Oh, no, we've got Hannah. Oh, little Hannah. There she is. Right, and then very quickly, thank you. That's, oh, that's nice. Yes, I love that one. That's a lovely one, isn't it? These are all out of the book. These are the ones from the book. And then, <coughs> excuse me, Hannah's favourite. That's my favourite as well. That's lovely as a weekend bag, isn't it? Mm. We were saying that one looked lovely as well in the parrot fabric we had earlier. Oh, It'd be yeah. gorgeous, wouldn't it's it? It's nice, and it's got a good amount of structure. You can Thank feel you. on the corners of that one. Yes, yeah. That you need to put some structure into it I'll with your interfacings. I'll just that one as well. Thank you. Oh, now, Lorraine, crazy. Is it crazy, Lorraine? Crazy Lorraine sent in a picture of a bag she's made. Oh, is it from the book? Oh, oh, it's there, look. Oh. Very similar. Why is your fabric upside down, Lorraine? <gasps> love the, I love that. Is that our pink cutting mat? We need, we need to get those metal handy bits. They look lovely, don't they? Is that rotating? Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you, Lorraine, for that. Just have a look around to Lorraine's house, don't I? <laughs> I like looking at people's pictures. <laughs> oh, OK, me. the book. More people have got it in their basket and there are books available. So oh, if you want grief. the book... Yeah, no, I'm sorry, I'll do it like that. If you want the book, you need to check out because there's not enough to go round. Right. There we go. OK, so you've done the quilting. Right. Ignore the wobbly bits, because I did a few no wobbly, wobbly bits, because I'm trying to go fast. Uh, right, at this point, you would probably snip some of those threads off, because they're a bit messy. Um, at this point, you then s attach it to your um, foam. Right. So we'll do all the next stage at the foam. But That's first a sew-in Is that a sew-in foam? Yes, it's yes. a so so sew-in foam. Sew-in foam. Get my teeth in. So that, the, the, that's not this interface, this is the fused one that we put in already. This is now the foam one, which is the thicker, this squidgy the one. Um, and I've cut that down a little bit. Oh, actually, let's first of all, I'm going to cut this out. Do you have oh. the, the little rotary cutter? Oh, yeah, where's the little rotary cutter? Still... Oh, I've got this one here now. I don't know how sharp it is, so just, or unsharp. Oh, it was, it was already oh. open. So I'm just going to see. Oh, that feels all right. Is it? Yeah, a smaller one's easier for this job. It's the 28 the millimetre one, isn't it? Uh, one? Yes. Could you do it with scissors if you didn't you use could, the Yes, cutter? yes, you could do. Because as a, as a dressmaking background, I would feel more Naturally go with scissors. scissors yeah. yeah. And I always used to be like that, but somehow I've got myself into rotary cutters and that's, I find them quite handy. Brilliant. 
stuff. And then I'll trim off these sections. Nice long oh, so you're just, you're just cutting away now the fusible interface. Yes, cut away the fusible because what you want to do is particularly with the trim that I've put on here, uh, if you're going to do something like adding the um, ribbon yeah. or like I've done on there with the rickrack, you yeah. want to make sure that it matches up at the side seam. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so you need your um, precision for this bit. Yeah. Just need to get rid of all these excess... Christine from Merseyside, would the swan fabric be suitable for making a bag? Um, uh, Christine, if you're going to layer it up onto um, wadding and um, what is it, interfacings like this, then yes, it would. It is a fine, it is a fine fabric, but I wouldn't say use it for a tote, you know, like a tote bag with no filling. I wouldn't do it with that. But if you're going to be sticking it to uh, fusible and, and, and um, the foam, then it would make a lovely, make a lovely bag. I didn't see in that. In the one. fabric in the previous hour, if you're a bit confused. Right. Right. So we'll just put that on top. And. Have I got these ribbons in my trolley then? Um, I don't know. Let's have a look. I've got blue oh, rick crack. I've got some gingham. Yes, I've got wide gingham and got narrow spotty. gingham. Yeah. And Debbie suggests just use what you have, see yes. what you can find. But if you'd like to do the same, that means Victoria's done. The same. So, wide, wide gingham. So I've put some wide, I've put some wide gingham on the middle of this one. Okay. You get the whole rip roll. Three meters, twenty-five millimeter wide, four pounds and forty-nine pence. Looks very much like one that um, Mandy Shaw would use. That doesn't it? And then is that? So I'm going to. You're only putting that one on this one. Yeah, I'll come back to these. Yeah, I thought I might do that as a little oh, trim, okay. like I've done a trim in the middle of that one. So now this bit's still loose from before. Yes, so in Debbie's book, she, <coughs> she, she's, blah, 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 she suggests using a wide braid. But right. we didn't have any wide braids, yeah. so that's why I've made one from the lining fabric. to. Oh, no, I quite like that. Yeah, I think it looks really smart. I think it's going to make a lovely bag. And also, that you've got enough then to lining and to cut that little bit out there as well. Yes, so. yeah. I made sure I cut the lining out first. Yes. Always cut your biggest pieces out first. Yeah. Okay. And so through all the layers. So long pins. So now your long pins, and also this is getting quite not thick, but it's getting thick. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Chunky. Yeah, it is. But it's got that bounce to it. The foam yes, it does yeah. bounce back. It doesn't compress. Everywhere. I'm just pinning around the outside. Yeah. Um, we will sew all the way around like I have done on here. Oh, okay. Sew all the way around. And do you always advise cutting your um, interfacings bigger? Yes, than cut top? it a little bit bigger. Um, just gives you a bit more. Does it have a grain? Um, like I knew you were going to ask that and I didn't check. Oh, okay. Do you want to have a look in the packet? I'm not sure whether it matters or not. I'm Which just thinking, because if it. you've got a corner left, do you know what I mean? You could put it... Use it for something else. So the... No, I think you could cut any which way you wanted way. to on, on the sewing one. Because it's got the, the foamy inside, but then it's got the, like this woven layer on the yes. top. But yeah. I don't think... No, I think you're fine with that one. I think we're OK. <coughs> do apologise. With my bad coffee, it'll be gone too. So what are you doing now then? So I'm just going to top stitch in place uh, the red band. Right. Like I have done on this one. And you can see how the foam gives a nice um, puffy look No, to no, it. it's, it's gorgeous because it gives that love. Oh, like there you see the stitches, the line stitches on the back there. So you've, you're going to top stitch down the bottom of the red band. Then mm. you're going to top stitch the, the ribbon on. Is that next? Yes. Yep. I'll do the ribbon next. Or would, you, would, it, would it be the outsides before the ribbon? Uh, no, I put life? the ribbon on first. Ribbon on first. Oh, yes, because that's not matching. It's only got to match the other piece. That doesn't have to match that, does no, it? Cassie? No, no, the yeah. other side. And you can go to town. You can use some of your decorative stitches here along rather than just a plain top stitch. You could do yep. one of your fancy How stitches. How many of your decorative stitches can you do then with your walking foot? Um, it depends on your machine. Yeah, it? I think that would depend on your machine and your walking foot. Most walking feet have got quite a wide mouth where the needle goes in. I'm 
just holding that in place a little bit, trying to make yeah. sure that I'm holding it in place but not letting the pin go underneath the foot. Yeah. Because if you start going underneath the foot, you run the risk of not watching what you're doing and going onto the pin. Yes. Just to make sure. Fabulous. Okay. And on the other side, I actually did an extra row of stitching a, sort of above. Oh, yes, so yes, yes. I did yes, one yes. above here as well. How are we doing for time? Uh, we're halfway through the app. Okay. Um, on the book, there's more of you have got it in your basket than there are, but there are only 10 now that haven't been checked out. So only 10 of you out of the, how many have got it in their basket? Oh, th about nearly 30 people have got it in their basket. 20 of you are going to get a disappointing message. Oh right, OK. So I'm just showing the two sides to each other so that I can make sure that I try and get the ribbon as close as I can in the right place. Yes. OK. The other way I suppose you could do it, because you've drawn out your patterns, when you're doing a dressmaking, you'd mark those two lines on your pattern. Yes. So you could just place your pattern down to make sure you got it. But if you've got two pieces and they're, they're manageable pieces, you could just they're do what you They're not too bad. Oh. What's the matter, Hannah? Why are you... Hannah's surprised. But then, of course, you've matched that side. Do you then have to put that yeah, side? Yeah, I'm going to come over this side just to make sure, but I'm sort of eyeballing that. Yes. and Because it's a woven ribbon, it's... Ooh, that oh, that doesn't work. Oh, yes. Perfect. Thank you. And what you could do is you could layer the ribbon if you wanted to. Or put another one on top of that one. So you could do, once you've stitched that down, you could put another one down the middle. Or, or you your... could just stitch the middle one down and don't stitch that one down either side. I, I just had that ribbon here. Oh, it is. The little ribbon. Oh, someone's been at this one in this warehouse. It's very little. Oh, that's it. You get a whole so that's roll. That's it. <laughs> The you will get five metres, I've got about 12 inches. <laughs> £4.50 for five metres. It's nice, that ribbon. We've used that ribbon to wrap some of our... They're on that side now. Use us oh, as wrapping yes, on the nice. gifts and things. Or you could do things like layering the ribbon. Oh, that's right. nice. Oh, I've got that as well. I've got blue rick rack. So what you could do is just sew that all on in one go yes so just one stitch down the middle down the middle of the rick rack yeah exactly that would look nice yeah as well. 25 meters of the rick rack 12.99 that's lovely right okay have you seen it when rick racks woven together you get two different colors and like plait them together no yeah if we had another color it looks really nice oh we'll do that another time next yeah. time we'll do that then well you get two rick racks and you so you sort them. of, yeah, the, because of the wiggly shape, you sort of offset them against each other and they... Oh, that sounds too, too complicated to me. No. So I'm going to sew that in place. What I'm also going to do at this stage is sew around the handle opening. Oh, OK. Do, in the book, is there um, something for all uh, capabilities? Do you know what I mean? Like, is there one... A couple of bags that are good for beginners and a couple then of ladies who are more, or gentlemen, yes. who are more advanced. Yes, it's not, it's not a, um, a beginner's book and it's not an advanced book. Yeah. There are different projects to, uh, to suit different people. Yes. And it's nice because there are different sized bags as well. You're not just making lots of small bags. Oh, no, 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 no. And no. the point you made as well is, is it's not just lots of versions of the same bag. No. They are... Different bags. But can, can, when you think about it, I mean, I know the book's gone, so we should, but 75p, how much would you pay if you went to a shop and said, Oh, I'd like to buy a pattern for a bag? And okay, you get four versions of that same bag. Don't sometimes, you? You know I mean? when sometimes you buy, not. Well, yeah, but if yeah. you buy a typical 12 95 pattern from the high street, yeah. Or, or we sell them as well, but do you know what I mean? As in 12, this is... 12 95 12 pounds, 8 95 something like that, you get the bag, but four variations, three or four variations of it. Yeah. For, for twelve ninety five for one style of bag, yeah. but this way you pay seventy five p for every single yeah. bag, each bag. And you've got all the instructions in the front. You're learning skills yes. as you go along. Oh, yes, it's yes, not yes, just yes. make this bag. Yes. It's it's showing you how and why you do certain things. And the yes, and because no patterns does it give you techniques, does it? You know what I mean? No. 
I mean, the, uh, uh, the Alice in Glass ones do, but then they're like booklets, uh, lifestyle booklets of their own. What's the matter, Hannah? OK, taking the graphics out for the book now, because if you don't check out, you won't get it. It's as simple as that. 30 people want it, at least 30 people want it, and there's only 10 of them. Oh, seven of them now. <laughs> I did try and warn you. We did say last time uh, Victoria had this book, it sold out within minutes. <coughs> oh. oh, breaking the joint. Go down the other side of the ribbon. So the, this bundle here, to make this bag, is the blue bundle at the bottom there, twenty-six pounds and forty-nine pence. There's the bottom one. You get the linen, uh, the, the gingham, the dashwood. Are, are they swans? No, not swans. Swallows. Swallows. I swallows. Would say. Swallows. You should know that. You should know. And then you've got the um, canvas fabric as well there, two and a half metres in total, £19.99. That's the blue one. Oh, no, hang on, I've got that wrong, got that wrong. The blue one is 26 49 sorry, at the bottom. The red one, which the main graphics are in, are the one that Victoria's using to do the demonstration. There's the red one, um, £19.99. Sorry, I, that was my mistake there. It's nice to have the canvas on for the base as yes. well. Makes it that little bit more sturdy yeah. when you're looking to put it down or whatever. Just gives it a bit more durability. Okay. So that's the ribbon sewn down. I also need to sew around the opening for the handle because the way that you attach the hand the, the lining is that you attach it right sides together with the front of the bag. Right. So you attach the lining to the front, you attach the lining to the back. So you haven't made it into a bag when you put the lining no. in? No. Okay. No, that happens afterwards. Oh, we'll get to that. We've got 20 minutes. Christine says, Morning, John. I have this book and can highly recommend it. The detailed instructions are clear and easy to follow. Oh. That's from Christine on Merseyside. Oh, it's good to get feedback like that. Yeah. So you're stitching... Around, all the way around the outside and around the handle. Around the, the handle opening, yes. Yeah. And with the handle opening, just need to take your time. I've done it on this one here, you can see. So it's just a straight stitch you've used? Oh, yes, yeah. and just gone slightly longer stitch. Longer stitch. So you, that stitch isn't what's holding it in place. That stitch is just basting it, is it? Because you're going to bind... No, because you're going to bag out, aren't you? Yes, you're going to poke, poke yeah. it through. So I'll just do a slightly yeah. longer stitch. Slightly moving my needle across a bit. And this you just need to take your time. Yeah. Go slow. I might turn it down a bit slower. A bit slower again. Oh, even slower. And just because you don't want to make your handle opening look skew if. Oh yeah. So this is the part where I just think you need to take your time. So it's literally do a stitch or two, needle down, pivot. Yeah, pivot keep, yeah. and round. And do this basting stitch um, uh, quite close to the edge. Right. Uh, Debbie uses a quarter of an inch or one centimetre seam allowance in all of her patterns. Right. So just make sure that this part it's within that, is yeah. within that. I think I might have to make a square opening. It would make it much easier. <laughs> yeah, but then you've got to get those oh, points no, right. Oh, no, no, no. Then it's a nightmare when you come to the next step. Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. yeah, no, go for oval. Go for oval. Right. While you do that, do you mind if I just go and do the bundles Not on the other table? All. all right. See you in a minute. Not missing anything. Uh, Victoria won't do anything else. No, no, don't worry. Right. Two bundles. The one that Victoria's actually making at the moment, so you get this one here. So you get the, uh, a metre of this uh, kind of heart stripey canvas. You get a metre of the red, bright red, solid spectrum, and then half a metre of the canvas. Is that right? Yep. Three fabrics there, two and a half metres for 19 pounds and 99 pence. There's less than 10 of those. There's less than 10 of those once you've all checked out. Then, uh, the blue bundle, which is the one Victoria's already made. A metre of this, 
meter of this, half meter of this. That's, college, that's um, cotton canvas, that last one. Got it. I've, I've called it Colin. <laughs> cotton canvas called Colin. Half meter of that one. Right, that's for the lotter bag. There's only eight of those left. There's only eight of those left. Right, now the Margaret bag. Last time as Victoria was in, she made the Margaret bag. Now, we've done a bundle just for the fabrics. I've got the strap actually for sale in my... Um, in my trolley over there, so I'll do that in a minute for you. And there's, I've got zips for sale, but you can get the zips on the website if you need to get the zip on the website. I will do the strap, but you can buy the zips on the website. But for the fabrics, right, this is the tilde from the cottage range. So you get this fat eighths bundle. I imagine you'd have lots left over. Mm -hmm, tons. Oh, tons left over. So you get 20 fat eighths in there, and then you get a meter and a half, you get half a meter of the linen look and a metre of the linear, uh, Cameo, that's Cameo, that's Duck Egg. Um, 64, I was trying to remember the price then. I had it written on the screen in front of me, I'm like, oh, how much was this one again? I was, yes, I shut my eyes. 64 pounds and 49 pence. And then I've got, <coughs> excuse me, a Kaif version, which is in the blue. Uh, you get the five piece fat, these are fat quarters. And then you also get half a metre of the dark blue linen look and a metre of the cornflower spectrum solid. £32.49. So if you've got the book, why not get one Margaret and one Lottie or Lotta? Right, come back with me because I've got this lovely, I've got this lovely canvas, um, Strapping detail. Okay, so this is the this is the webbing for the strap. And on the Margaret bag, the that strap was then decorated further with a strip of, of the, the fabric. lining fabric. Yeah, five ninety nine for three meters. Five ninety nine. Somebody's asked about the embellishment on the blue lotter bag, so I'll do that next. That's five ninety nine there. That's the Margaret bag there, sixty four forty nine in the tilde. And the nice thing about the fat eighths is it gives you lots of flexibility as to how you're going to piece the front. Because yes. The front is pieced together with triangles. Here's the one, the cave one. Oh yes, I did. yes, That's sorry, the one I did there, on sorry. air the other day. So the cave one, obviously, you've got fewer prints to choose from. Well, you've only got um, five prints to choose from with the cave, haven't you? Yeah. Only, listen to me. Oh, you've only, only got five. Only, but um, with this one, I just, um, with the tilde one, sorry, I chose one from each print. Oh. So, so that means they're all completely different on, on that one. Then no, is this one yeah, you've just so got the five one, to choose from. Yeah. Um, very quickly, while you're still stitching that, somebody's asked to see how you've done the embellishment in this. So, again, you did the, the band of the... Um, the gingham lining. fabric, yep. the same as you did with the red there. Yep, you echo. put the blue rickrack across the, the middle. Yep. And, and then, then on this one, you've done a circular... Yeah, I just found some felt in my stash. Oh, that's felt, is it? Yeah, that so I've yeah. just taken some felt and used some pinking shears and okay. cut two different felt circles and I've sort of free motion embroidered, if you like, yes. around the outside. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And then I've taken a piece of the gingham and turned that on its side yeah. to give a slightly different angle to the band going Jaunty. across the front. Jaunty. And also in the book, there's lots and lots of different um, uh, ideas of how to do decoration and embellishment, because you said yeah. she loves embellishment, doesn't yeah, well, she? Yeah, well, Debbie actually has done a stag with some antlers, and she's oh. free motion some antlers on hers. Yeah. But I thought that'd be quite nice to just try something different. Uh, June says, is there any fabric left over after making the Lottie bag? It'd be nice to make a batching purse. Lots of love, June. Right. What have we got? Now, the, the canvas I used from here, I did the bases for both bags. Oh. So you've got a bit more of that. Oh, so you've got loads of that. Oh, look, it's like, like an outfit. <laughs> Uh, so you, so got you can see there where I've cut the bases yes, out. Yes, yes, yes. On each but of those. But that was two. You cut two out. Of yes. That, that, that's what's left after cutting the bases for both sides. Yeah, that's what I mean. So yes. you're get, oh, yes, yes, yeah. Right, okay, brilliant. And then this is what I've got left of the swallows. Oh, there's loads, June. There's loads. You can make a lovely little purse out. Look, there's, obviously there's little sections there, but... Oh, yes, look. Easy. Easy, 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 June. 
Make yourself an outfit as well to go with. <laughs> oh, good question though, June. Thank you. I'll just put those in there. Uh, how are we doing time-wise? How are we doing? How right. are we doing? Eleven and a half minutes, right? Eleven and a half minutes. Or eleven. So I'm just going around the outside. All right, so just tell me nine now. No, no not oh eleven. Yeah, nine. Good grief, time flies when you're having Yes. Time. So, um, you, like I said before, and I'll show you, we'll get to that bit where you, uh, the way that you attach the lining, we yes, won't actually yes, yes. attach it. But then what you do is you then construct the bag once you've attached the lining around that hole. So that you then go and you do the side seams and the base of the main body of the bag, and then you have to do a bit of jiggery poking. I was going to say, because it's attached, it'll be attached around the <laughs> opening, won't it? Yeah, yeah, it's a bit tricky, but you, you construct it in that way. And I found that I just did half of the lining, then pulled it out the other way and do the other half. It sounds really odd, but you'll understand when you get to yes. that point what you need to do. It's because it's like uh, one of the first projects we did at college was a period waistcoat. And when you come to bag, I couldn't get my armholes to back, you know, the oh. lining, and it was just drove me insane. Enough to drive you crazy. OK, so that's attached. And the, the, the point of attaching that means that you can attach your side seams and base more easily. Yes. And then the top of the bag, so you've done your bases and your sides, but the top of the bag is actually sealed with some bias binding. Oh, OK, so that, that you never bag out across the top, you, that's no, bias bound. that's all bias bias bound and we won't get to the bias binding maker the bias binding makers are available on the website um but you would um i made that on that one out of the main body of the fabric yeah. but you could do it out of oh, the you could lining do it out of all the, yeah, the, yeah. yeah that right would be nice. okay so so we just need to trim this well one. you would trim that down yeah. let me show you i was going to say lining. it'd be nice to see this so you take your lining piece of fabric right and place that over the hole it reminds me of one of those fish, because I've watched the David Attenborough thing. You I've know not them. watched any of those <gasps> yet. They're all Oh, you've got recorded. to watch them on Catch. Oh, you've got them recorded. Yeah, well, one. Andrew, my husband, keeps saying, well, watch it whilst you're sewing. And I said, no, it's a sit and watch. No, no, you can't do it. You can't do it. I normally have my phone by me when I watch the telly. You can't do anything <laughs> when that's on. It really, you just have to sit and watch. Visual program. Yes. But it, you'll be, it's just astounding. Do you know what I mean? It's just, you're just thinking, that's really going on. That's really, really happening. Not and there's one, I won't give anything much away that hasn't been in the adverts, but on one of the episodes, there's a big, ugly fish, right? And once it gets to a certain age, it goes and hides under a rock, and it turns into a man fish. It's a ladyfish, has oh. its babies, goes under a rock, and turns into a man fish, and then starts fathering babies. That's versatile. I know. That can't go back. If it changes, right. mind, it can't go back. <laughs> Sounds like some magical story. And it's frightening, because it's got a big, like a, a lump on it, said that, and the lump... The lump on the head gets bigger and bigger and bigger when it turns into a man. It's, they, they, it's one of those fishes, the uglier you are, the more wives you get. Oh, there you go. So Sadly, all... not like that in real life, Aww. is it? Um, I was going to say little Paul, but he's not here. Aww. So now you're just pinning. So this is the lining. So you've got... And you've pinned it to the right, correct side. Yes, you've got your your right side facing outermost, yeah. and then you place right sides facing. So if, for example, with the gingham, you it would be right sides yes. together, yeah. whereas the red doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. You do the same thing as I did before. You stitch around the opening, but this time make sure that you've got your quarter of an inch seam. So you, your the, the stitch line that you had has to be inside the seam allowance that you're doing this time. Yes. Yeah. Um, but if you're nervous, you could make that a little bit bigger yeah. if you were worried. And if you're doubly worried, you could actually draw in with a pen yes. your seam allowance. Because yeah. getting around these corners can be a bit tricky. And you can sort of fold this out the way. The foam is quite forgiving because yeah. it will just pop back yeah. into place. But it can be a bit tricky getting round the machine. Of course, yeah. Um, so you can you can draw that on if you so like. So you literally machine all the way around. All the way around that in one go, and you then repeat the same for the other half of the bag. Okay. And then once you've done that, you would then place your bags right sides together, and you will have trimmed your other bag and put the lining on. You then sew across those three sides. Okay. And then you'd have to pull out the lining and do that. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. 
Right. Just to start such I've got a lovely message for you here from Julie. Victoria, you are brilliant and such a great teacher. Oh, thank High you. High time you wrote your own book. Time would be a wonderful, yeah. wonderful thing. Yeah, let's get rid of the kids first and then yep. do it. Boarding school. No. <laughs> My mum went to boarding school when she was seven. Oh, my, my brother went to boarding school when he was young seven. like that as well. Terrible. Oh, let's not even go there. Hannah's saying, why did he go to boarding school and you didn't? Oh. Let's not even go there <laughs> Which now. child was the favourite, the one that went or the one that stayed? The one that went. The one that, well, when he went, I wasn't even born. Oh. But anyway. There you go. No, the favourite child went. <laughs> That's all right. Are there just two of you? No, it's four of them. Four? Yeah. We might be having a family move next in, in a house next to us that's got five. Oh, I thought you might say, yes, we might be having a family. We might have four. Oh, no. Do I look crazy? <laughs> <laughs> a family of four moving in next door. Five. Oh. Five children. Oh. Yeah, I've got yeah. Is it? Are you semi-detached? No. Or, oh, that's right, then. That's fine. Don't let them put a, ta a, a tangerine. A tangerine? No tangerines around us. What's uh -uh. one of that? Orangery? Trampoline. Oh. <laughs> trampoline in the garden. I'm thinking orangery. <laughs> I couldn't think of that, because that was one of my, my things when I moved up here. I was like, said to the estate agent, if there are trampolines in the gardens round the house, I'm not buying it. And I went to see this gorgeous house just outside Solihull, and I was like so in love with the house. And I walked into the garden, and there were like six gardens all coming to a point like that, and all the other five all had trampolines in them. I went, nope. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, ours is at the end of the garden. And oh, you've got one? We do, but it's at the end of the garden, and we haven't really got neighbours. OK. It's all right. Okay. No, I don't need one anymore because where, because when I bought my house, I, I, after I'd bought it, I looked out the window and saw that they had a trampoline over the far side of their garden. I hadn't seen it. But they, their um, children too are gone now. It's a shed now. Shit. Oh, dear. Yeah, Hannah says she couldn't... Well, no, you can't fall off. There's a net round it. Yeah, these days, nets around them. It's health and safety. Mm. Or you dig a big hole and put it in the ground. So it's um, level. Yes. Well, also, it's, it's terrifying as a parent because my sister-in-law, Julia, or my brother, they had one of their kids had a party and a child broke a limb while they were at the party on the trampoline. Oh, dear. Oh, I hate being responsible for other people's no, children. No, other people's children. I know. It's funny, isn't it, when you have other people's children in the car, you say, well, I, I haven't, obviously haven't got children, but when I've got, had, when they were younger, nieces and nephews in the car, you drive completely differently because <laughs> you've got someone else's children in your car. You're in you charge. <coughs> I don't know how that's going to turn through. You poke it through the hole. And that's it? Yep. And then you've got to, well, you've got to clip into your seam allowances, yes. like you would do on curves. Yeah. Poke it through the other side, really wet it down, spray it with your iron. Yeah. And then you've just got to press it, press it, press it. Oh, OK. Would you always press, would you always steam it down? Would you, would you use a, a spritzer bottle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spritz, spritz. Make it quite damp. It makes it easier to encourage it round. Yes. Um, but the, yeah, I said to you before, if you were uncomfortable, you could do a bigger seam allowance round the curve. Yeah. But if you do that, make You've sure you trim it. Yes, yes. Otherwise, yes. you're going to have too much bulk. And also, the, uh, Debbie's designed it so that it's the right size. I mean, yes, don't make it hugely bigger because no, you're no, going to no. ruin no, the talking... proportion of the bag, aren't you, if you do that as well? Yeah, and it's just going to look odd if you've suddenly got a really massive hole. Okay, how far around have we oh, got to go? Got a minute really left. there? Oh, yeah. I'm... I'm going to quite get to show you the turning through. It took me... Shall I go and do... Shall I go and do some up and then come back and yeah, you can chuck... Yeah, right, Let me go and do that. Let me go and do that. Because then I want to see the turning through bit, really. Four bundles very, very quickly. Four bundles. The Lottie bag in red. Uh, you get the... Um, Stripey one with hearts, you get the red spectrum solid and you get the blue uh, canvas, cotton canvas. Six of those left. Excuse me, six of those left. Then I've got this one, the Lottie blue. So you get the swallows fabric, the gingham fabric and the blue cotton canvas. Uh, two and a half metres total, 26 pounds and 49 pence. Half metre of the plane, the other two are a metre of each. Then the Margaret bag. Oh, kick the camera there, Tim. Uh, this one here is in the uh, cottage. You get the Fat Eights bundle, huge bundle there, 20 of them. And a metre and a half of fabric, half a metre of that, and a metre of the cameo. 
at 64.49. And then last but not least, the CAFE, the thing is, oh, yeah, the case, you could use these for all sorts of banks, couldn't you really, or other projects if you wanted to. You get the five fat quarters in CAFE in the blue. You get the blue linen effect and you get the corn flour. So it's a meter of that, half meter of that, and the fat quarter bundle, 32 pounds and 49 pence. Right, the book has definitely sold out. Oh. Right, so we've got a minute left. Okay, I'm just snipping into these curves. And I'm afraid the edge of the scissors are blunt, so I'll just have to do it. Okay, again. just go for it. So at that point, you've sewn round. You've cut into the curves. Cut so into the curves, there. and then you're just posting it through the hole. And then wet it. Yes. And would you then, you then top stitch it? Yes, you then top stitch it in place. So really wet it, really press it. Take your time. This is important on this bit. To yeah, take it your time, is, because it? it's part of the bag that you're going to see an awful lot. So do take your time to make sure that you've pressed that under. And once I've pressed it, I would stick a pin in to make sure that the lining on the back yeah. is kept in place nicely so that when you come to top stitch it, it stays in place and this doesn't ruck up. Okay, I've got a very quick question. Somebody's asked, what um, interfacing did you use on the Margaret bag? Can you the remember? The Margaret bag, we used just some standard wadding for the main part of the bag. And what else did I use? Um, there was, oh, on the lining, the lining had, and you had a sample of it behind you a minute ago. Which one, which one? A woven interfacing, this one. The, oh. These two. Those two were attached to the lining. Do you know what? I'll do those, I'll do those at the beginning of the next act, because I want to carry on seeing you do that. But um, I'll, I'll show you what those two are at the beginning of the next act. But those I attached to the lining, lining of right. the Margaret bag. But you would iron this. This is okay. all done via iron. Uh, don't go anywhere. I'm back with Premier Fabrics after this. I just want you to see as much of this as you possibly because look how neat that is. And then literally, you make the main bag up, and you, oh, I've got another minute. They're giving us yeah. another minute. So you attach this other one would yeah, be trimmed. Yes, and then the finished one. The finished one. So you have both of them with your lining yeah. on the inside. You'd attach the right sides together of the of bag just the only. Bag on its own. So like the bag that. only down the side seams, double back yeah. stitch here, across and along and back up. Yeah. And then you have to sort of turn the bag in the other way and then you do the same thing with the lining. With, yeah. But, but your top stay, the top the top edge is staying open, isn't top it? Top edge totally stays open and that's your very final stage is to make some bias binding or okay. use pre-made yeah. and attach that on the top of the uh, bag. Use the 25 millimeter yes. binding maker if you're going to make yeah, your Yeah, I use the widest binding that when we When are you in next? Um, week Wednesday? Week Wednesday. Maybe? Well, we're around Sometime. anyway, but we'll see you before Christmas anyway. Yes, yes. Thank yep, you so much. In. I'm sorry to rush you, but it's That's brilliant right. to get all your techniques I just hope we covered as much as we could. Don't go anywhere. I'm back with Premier Fabrics in three minutes from now. Make sure you watch the adverts. Make sure you check out your baskets. <laughs> Listen. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. Hi, I'm Victoria Peet, and here are my top three tools. My first top tool is a and a quarter ruler. It's really nifty. It's got this nice little lip here that you use in foundation paper piecing. You butt it up against your paper and it helps you cut a really accurate quarter of an inch seam allowance every time. My next top tool is a thimble pad. I don't know about you, but I find thimbles really difficult to use. These thimble pads are great. They're made of leather, so they're nice and tough and they're adhesive on one side. Just stick them to your finger and your finger's protected. I use them when I'm doing English paper piecing. Last top tool is this mini iron. It's absolutely Absolutely brilliant for sewing when you don't want to get out a big heavy iron. It's great for foundation paper piecing and it's great for when you're going to quilt club. It's got steam function and it gets super hot. It's perfect. The Sewing Quarter website is simple and easy to use. You can view a live broadcast of the show on our homepage. Get instant access to our online shop, which has a wide range of wonderful products for you to choose from. You can also enjoy a selection of projects and guides, which we have on offer to help you enhance your skills and gain valuable tips. Watch the live shows and you can buy the product which is currently being shown on air. You can even message the studio to ask our presenters or team any questions you might have. 
Below, you'll find all the products from today's show for you to look at and purchase. On the right of the screen, next to today's products, you will find our simple program guide listing all upcoming shows. So, join us today at sewingquarter.com. In our 12 kits of Christmas, we've got festive treats from the 1st of December. We're giving you a discount delight at 9am. Make sure you remember, from the 1st of December to the 12th day, Santa will be arriving every morning for us on his sleigh. He's ticked off his nice list and we're right at the top. We're getting an extra goodie every day. You won't want them to stop. So, from the first of the month, settle down to watch us with a cup of Christmas cheer. Our daily special treat will be the start of a fabric-filled sewing quarter year. Right, before I start this show, the premiere show, and Dean's facings from that last show, um, this um, uh, Christmas panels, now I need to warn you, right, all our Christmas panels that we've got are now, if you go to the website, they're now 40% off. What you need to do is if you go to the front page of the website, click on that panel there, 40% off Christmas panels, shop now, it'll take you to the shop where all of the panels, so there's stockings there, there's bunting, there's advent calendars, but please note, uh, you can't see there because they're still there, but everything I've shown you so far this morning is sold out. When you click on it, it'll say sold out because that's not like the, the live one underneath the um, thing. Right, okay, so this, we're highlighting, we're not showing all of them, we're just highlighting one now. This is the one we're highlighting for this hour. Now, if you remember, I couldn't find it. I think Jennifer Taylor might have taken it home. Jennifer Taylor made a cushion and tree... Oh, there's tree decorations. They're still on the tree over there. That's why I couldn't find them. Um, uh, this was... Oh. It was... Can't have been six ninety nine. Okay, so that one must have more than 40% off it then. So that one was 6 99 It's now £4.79. Thank you. It was 7 99 well, Oh, it's upside down. One job, because it's got the instructions of how you make it there as well. Um, so you get the panel. And now what Jennifer did was she made little Christmas decorations out of them. But it's still advent calendar, because she put a little pocket behind and hung them from the tree and put little chocolates in them. Um, oh, and she made a cushion, an advent cushion. Uh, now, I'm not going to show those again. They're just on the website. Oh, no, that needs to go back on the tree. They're on the website, 40% off, and um, until stocks last. Now, as I said, the ones I've highlighted already this morning have sold out. Now, also, going back to the last show, we were talking about somebody messaging in saying, which um, lining, uh, which interfacing did you use on the Margaret bag? On the main fabric, uh, it was just a, a normal batting. There it is. That's, that's not the one that, um, no, I don't think that's the one that uh, Victoria used, but you can use any of them. No, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. And then the lining had another interfacing on it, which was this, this woven, which comes in the bl uh, black and white. They're two, different color, they're two different numbers. So there's black woven and there's white woven here. Oh, that's not very attractive, is it, there? That's the black, oh, that's the white one. 14.99, two meters. That's the white one. And it also comes in black, which you'll run through, will you, and put it on the website? Oh, it's coming now. You can use one or the other, depending on, you never see it, so it doesn't matter which one you use. Black one's very limited, I'm being told. Uh, there it is, 14.99. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Chris. Right, Premier Fabrics, I've got three here. And then I've got more over there. The reason I've kept these separate is these are very nautical and the ones over there are different. So I didn't want to mix the, the three together. So should we start with Ship Ahoy? This is the one I sort of showed you at eight o'clock. Seems like yesterday when I showed you this, eight o'clock this morning. Now, wouldn't that, it, imagine if you've got um, a husband who loves uh, tinkering on his boat in the marina at the weekend, a shirt, a little short sleeve, short sleeve shirt, 
Out of this would be lovely, wouldn't it? Or a lovely 50, I keep talking about 50 skirts now. I have to change my, my but a lovely gathered skirt or full circular skirt. Not for your husband, obviously for you. <laughs> or for your husband, it's the weekend. Yeah, weekend maybe. It's called Seaside Bottles, this one. Ship Ahoy, Journey, Dreams. I'm sure there was another word I saw earlier. Gong, did that say gong? Oh, it's not even a word, it's bubbles. No, hang on. No, they're bubbles. I haven't seen any birds. I saw a word, which I thought was a word that said gong, and it's actually bubbles. Anyway, it's nice now. I'll come back to it, 6 .99. Uh 40 inches wide. 40, uh, oh, 42 inches wide. 42 inches wide. Right. Okay, these are all nautical, these ones. Because then I love this one. Now, this is a meter, obviously, that I'm showing you here. And the, oh, now from a distance, it just looks busy. Close to. That's reminding me of semaphore for some reason. Doesn't it you as well, yeah? Semaphore, it's where you speak to each other by waving flags. Do you not know that, Hannah? No, before phones were invented and didn't get much coverage at sea. 6 99 for half a metre, 100% cotton. Really, really lovely, that one, isn't it? Really lovely. And then last but not least, I've got fishes. The fishes. Is that a song, is it, Hannah? Fishes! I think so. F uh, and he said, swim, little fish, swim, swim, swim. What song's that? And he said, swim, little fish, swim, swim, swim. No? Well, I know what I'm talking about. I like this one. It's still look nice in the kitchen, I think. Oh, it's called Seaside Fish Fabric. Do you know what? Eau de coated, I'd have, I'd make bunting, eau de coated bunting for the outside of my beach hut. You know. 6 99 It's one of Hannah's ambitions in life to have a beach hut. In next to the beach. Hove, John's in Hove. Well, it's getting expensive in Hove now. Well, it never used to be, Hannah. It used to be because Hove, people go to Brighton and Hove would be seen as like, oh, that's where old people go. I know. Gorgeous apartments in Hove as well. Right. Um, I've got brand new fabrics. These are my uh, solids and my linears that I'm going to team with them later. So I'm just going to put these in their piles. And then I'll show you. The gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous premier fabrics. I'll just mix those into linear. There we go. Linear and spectrum solids. Lovely colours. Oof. That's just giving now that's giving you a taste of what's to come. Da -ba -da 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 -da. Hmm? Some of our favourite colours there. Antique pink, ochre, heron. I love those. That as a colour palette is lovely, isn't it? But that's not what it's about. Premier, premier, premier fabrics. Now, these are all dashwood, aren't they? It's called Autumn Rain, the range. Blue flowers. Oh, hang on, is it a direction? No, it's multi-directional. Owls? Let's get the owls. And there's a butterfly. Oh, yeah, there's a butterfly. And I think I've seen a firefly on one of them as well. But they've got the butterflies. They've got the big flowers. Where's the tape measure gone? Oh, that's it. The witch one. There's love hearts. I know. I think what they do is they carry themes through, don't they, from season to season. I can't even see the one. That, oh, yeah, the berries. I can see it, yeah. Little sprigs of berries. Chinese chrysanthemums. Owls. Leafs. There's the berry one. Oh, you can't see it there. There's the berry one there, look. Six pounds and 50 pence for half a metre. Dashwood Studio, Autumn Rain, Blue Flowers, that one's called. Brand spanking new, premiere, premiere, premiere today. 
Oh, next one, moving on. Hannah forgets that you haven't seen them and she's been poring over them for days. I know. You see, always, I can't wait to start mixing and matching for you. Right, next. This has got like a vintage 1920s lady on it, this one. Uh, but it's also got the owl. It's called girl fabric, this one. Like girl power. No, girl power. I was doing, the Ger I was doing Jerry Halliwell. No, they only did one hand. No, I just didn't show, well, anyway. That's from Studio Autumn Rain Girl Fabric. It's one of those 1920s drawings, isn't it? Like, she's got a, a, a bigger head than her body. But then she's got lovely, um, the fabric that her dress is made out of is coming up in a minute, almost. A version of it, anyway, not that version. It's not the navy blue version. Make a lovely makeup bag. The owl is there, looking nonplussed. Potato print. She's got a little dog as well, look. The little dog is looking at the butterflies. He's looking suspiciously at that bush. Thinking, oh, I might need a wee in a minute. That's the dog thinking that, not me, obviously. Uh, six pounds and fifty pence on the Dashwood Studio. There's a bee. Where's there a bee? There, it's got your little um, berries in this one as well, Hannah. Which way are you going? Oh, there's the bumblebee. Stuff. Oh, there he is. And, there, and there's your berries next door to it. Gorgeous ochre in there, lovely little love hearts, just like confetti fluttering in the breeze. What? Where are you, Mike? Mike's getting very confused. Yeah. Yes, that's what we're talking about. That's why the fabric's called Girl. And then she's wearing a little zig... Where about, sorry, you've got a little zigzaggy dress. Go down a bit more. This is a zigzaggy dress. I love it when the directors listen to everything you've said. He's just gone, John, there's a lady in there with eyelashes. And she's got a big head and she's got a zigzaggy dress on. Yeah. I think he hasn't um, had much sleep or something, maybe. Right, next. Oh, now the little... This is where the little dog features. Oh, I like this because I love the colours on this one. Look. Now, Mike, there's a little dog on this fabric with rain clouds. Oh, they pat put your earrings. Let's have a look. No, they're rain clouds, look. Watering the lovely uh, flowers. Oh, do you know what? That's a bit like when Snoopy, other dogs are available, is sad and there's always a rain cloud above his head. I just think it's a spring flower. Oh, no, it's called autumn rain. It's nothing to do with spring flowers. Autumn rain dog fabric. Oh, what kind of dog is it then? Brown? No. Like a biscuity coloured dog with black ears and a black eye. It's cute though, isn't it? I love the um, ochre, splashes of ochre in there. Okay. Now moving on. Oh, love this next one. It's got two, oh no. I was going to say two of my favourite things on it, right? But I thought they were cupcakes. They're not cupcakes at all. Now, Michael, what do you see if I show you this fabric? 
Oh, I like it. Oh, I think it's, oh, I think it's very rich. Look. Ochre and cupcakes, I was going to say. No, I don't mean the owl. I meant the little flowers. No, I knew it was an owl. Dash for studio, autumn rain, yellow owl. Now, they've called it yellow. We've had this discussion before. I'd say it was definitely more of an ochre, but they've called it yellow. It's like a golden ochre, isn't it? Now, the owl has got his eyes shut on every single one. Deep in thought. They're very wise, aren't they, owls? Hannah's middle name, owl. 650, half meter, 100% cotton, 42 inches wide. I think that's lovely. Okay, moving on. It's lovely quality, really, really gorgeous quality, this one. Oh, thank you for that. Yes, I can still hear it through the wall. Oh, now I love this one. How did I miss? Oh, do you know what? I think I missed a couple of these in prep earlier. These next two, I don't remember seeing these next two. Look, oh, I love, this is lovely. Is it clover? They called it clover. I think it's a clover. Look. Oh, I love this. Where's my hand? Well, I don't know. I didn't see this one or the next one when I prepped last night. Oh, I love this. Right, and um, Hannah would have cushions. I don't know what I'd use for. I just think it's lovely. Re I'd want it in a quilt, I think. They've called it... Uh, oh, they've just called it flowers. I think it's clovers on ochre. Well, they call it yellow, wouldn't they? Oh, I think that is so lovely. I love the way the leaves... It's got a very... Mind you, it might not be a clover because it's too tall, isn't it, for a clover? Yeah, the flower's like a purpley colour. When we, when we, um, but when we chose our colours yesterday, Hannah, I don't, you see, I, we didn't see this one because we would have picked a, like a purpley colour to go with this, wouldn't we? You weren't there. You were. You weren't. No. She was there physically, but she wasn't really. I was busy being all deaverish, going, I'll just tidy this room, shall I? Everyone's going, oh, thank you, John. No. I love that one. And then look at this. This is so delicate, this one. These are just the rain showers on their own, the rain clouds on their own. This one, uh, yeah, was it? Oh, yes, it was. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Oh, that's cute. Rain clouds. There's ochre, there's pale pink, there's biscuit. Oh, yeah, go. Food. Quarter past 11, food. Autumn rain cloud. 42 inches wide. 100% cotton. It's cute, isn't it? That make a lovely blouse. Really, really. Let me lift it up. Cute little blouse, that one, isn't it? See, from a distance, you don't see the raindrops. It's just when you get closer, isn't it? <laughs> Julie, there's only two left. She says, John, I love you dearly, but can you hurry up, please? I'm skiving and I've got to go back to work. I've got two more to show. All right, two more, very quickly. Right, for Julie. You'll miss the mix and matching, Julie. These are the last two. These are the last two. You've got the zigzaggy print. That's not Nurse Julie. I don't think that's Nurse Julie. Now, that's the same pattern as the little girl or the lady was wearing on her dress. It's nice, very geometric. Very 
32. Very specific. Hmm? Summer. Summer going into autumn. Right, keep looking at that. Sorry, Julie, I've got to blow my nose. That's better, thank you. 6.50, half a metre. My our ears are popped. I just blew my nose and my ears are popped. I love that fabric. Anyway, very quickly, because Julie's got to get back to work. This is the last one. It's like um, leaves and fireflies, this one. Well, I can actually hear everything there. Are they flying ants? I think they're flying ants, colourful flying ants, aren't they? Six fifty. Okay, Julie, go to work. I'm going to do mixing and matching in a minute. If you check, make sure you check out Julie before, before you go to work. I think maybe she's at work and she's just, or in the other room. So I'm just going to go make a cup of tea. Anyone want tea? I'm going to make tea. Yeah. Um, right, should we do some mixing and matching? Is there anything in particular? Hang on, I'm just going to do this a minute. I've got an airlock. Is there one you'd like to start with, Hannah? OK, Lady is most popular at the momento. Right. So let's have some vintage pink linear. Is that what it's called? T rose linear. So that's the lady fabric. Oh, where's it gone? Where's my fabric gone? No, no, no. There it is. There it is. There it is. That T rose. That's what I was trying to say. T rose. Or. Now, would you also stay with the sulphur or would you go ochre? Ochre. Oh, I, I'd go ochre, right? Hannah's going to go sulphur. So that one there is the T rose linear 499 for half a metre. I'll take that one out and then I'll put sulphur in. Oh, the sul oh it does look nice. Does look nice though. There's no white in the sulphur at all. The background, oh, the, that one. All right, then. So that's sulphur. And then this is spectrum solid ochre. We do love a bit of ochre. That's nice, isn't it? I'm wondering if the heron might work as well. But we'll do this one first. Three twenty-five half a metre, the ochre there. Let me just try the heron now. Oh, oh, and, oh, I'm getting a bit carried away now. No, 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 I'm not trying all of them, but that would look nice as well, look. That's lovely, isn't it? So that's heron in linear. That's girl fabric. Now, I'm also, because of her hair, I'm wondering whether my last linear's gonna work. Is it indigo? So that's the, that's the heron. Let me just look at indigo before I say, oh, mm, no, too, oh. When I say, let me just look at it, means uh, let me look at it before we cut it up to the viewers to see. I don't think that works. I don't. Uh, I've got to, yes, I have got to pay. Oh, look, at Michael is now saying, I need the, where's the coral? I thought we had a coral, corally one in this. Oh, that's right. Yeah. No, it's not quite the right shape. That's flamingo. That's flamingo. But don't don't cut this one up yet. No. Okay. So I'm moving on. Put those back in there. Oh, the clover. Yeah. It's just called flowers. Oh, don't you? What do you think it is then? 
No, it doesn't look anything like a cornflower. Cornflower's got spikes. This is round. No, no, a cornflower's like that, whereas a clover's like that. What do you think at home? Prove me, prove Hannah wrong. Do you think that's a clover or do you think it's a cornflower? I don't understand that one. Oh, okay, uh, somebody said, morning, is the background to the leaves fabric navy blue or purple? This one, no, I'll take this one up. Do you mean this one? Ooh, good, I'd say midnight blue. It's not purple, it's not purple, it's like a midnight blue. Good question, midnight to navy, yeah. I'll come back, I'll come back to the, um, the clover in a minute. But you see the same, the thing is, we've picked, we've picked spectrum solids and linears that are gonna work with all of, oh hang on, where are we? That's sulfur again. Let me see, I don't, uh, Oh, hang on, I'll be able to tell you exactly, because I've got names, right, okay, that's sulphur. The next one I'm going to put in is navy, is it navy or dark blue, the one I've got here? No, it's a plane, it's a plane, spectrum. Oh, sorry. Right, this... Who was it asked? Oh, it's just a customer, didn't it? Right, this is navy blue. So that's more of a midnighty French blue. But that's purple, you see, there. On the graphic. Yeah. No, Hannah, I have worked in telly a little bit longer than that. So that's purple. That's navy. This is the fabric you're asking about. I'd say more French midnight blue than navy blue. I'm just wondering, um, I think that might be a bit too pale. Let's have a look at that one. But no, that looks nice. That looks nice. Yes, you can show that. Thank you, Michael. Biscuit, it's called. The what? So that's autumn rain leaves, and this is biscuit. I'm wondering if that, let's look at the heron with it as well. I'll look first. Oh, that's nice. That's elegant, that one. You can show that one, Michael, thank you. So this is heron in linear, and that is the leaves. They've got their own language upstairs, haven't they, in the gallery? I've got no idea what they're talking about. They're lovely together, aren't they, those two? OK, let's get back to the clover and see what... Oh, Jacqueline, what do you think it is? The rain flowers look like those spindly weeds <laughs> that look like forget-me-nots. Oh, no, I know what you're thinking of. The ones you can buy in uh, petrol stations, and they last forever and ever and ever. I've got some in my garden. It's still flowering now in the middle of winter. Uh, um, you're wrong. No, she's wrong. Jacqueline's wrong. Apparently, Jacqueline's never wrong, I'm being told. Oh. The what, what? Thought it was something important. Oh, I'm liking indigo with this one. So this is indigo linear. I call that one clover, but it's not called clover, is it? That's lovely, those two together, aren't they? It's called flowers. We like that. We like that one a lot. Now, I'm just going to be very controversial now and try two different colours with it. You might think I'm crazy. But let me try. Is this Vienna orange, this one? 
Oh dear, poor old Hannah. Oh, I like that. Is that Vienna orange? You need to turn me back on then. You finished coughing? Okay. Vienna orange, I like those two together. So the Vienna orange is 325 half meter. The flowers. I haven't recapped the other ones. I have to go over and recap the blue ones in a minute across the way. Getting carried away. Okay, now I'm going to try something else rather controversial now. Uh, me first. Oh, yeah, it works. Look. That's beautiful, isn't it? Timothy's shaking his head. So is that port? Or is that claret? Oh, it is port. Three pounds and 25 pence. I think those two together look gorgeous. If there are any fabrics you want me to show you together, let me know. Let me know. I love this flowers fabric, though. I don't remember seeing that at all. Anyway. Anyway, I'll go across the other side now, and I'll recap the blues, and then I'll come back and do this side again. Because there's a couple of these we haven't looked at properly yet, like the zigzaggy one. Let me just tidy up a little bit. And the rain clouds and the cupcakes. Right, let's go and do the, um, the nautical ones over there. Boats and bottles are level pegging what the fishes aren't. Mm -hmm. So there's boats, this one's called boats. Seaside bottles even, it's not called boats at all, thank you. No, no, because the next, the other one's boats. This is bottles. Shipping a, oh, that's message in a bottle I'm thinking of, isn't it? Shipping a bottle. <laughs> I can't imagine Sting singing about shipping a bottle. Where can you see adventure? There's dreams there. Oh, there, on a washing line. Oh, Mike, your brain's working very over time today, isn't it? There, adventure, Hannah. Uh, what? Which one? Oh, hang on. So I wasn't imagining things earlier. I did see other words. Right. There, there, there. That says something wa wave. This says Captain Courage, you're gorgeous. No. Captain Courage, you're... No, you can't see it. I can't see it. So you definitely can't see it. Then I've got something wave there. Play. Now, what's this word? N-O-E. What does that mean? Oh, does it say nice? Where's the I? Oh, play nice. Play nice. I've got that. You rock my boat. No. <laughs> what does this one say here? Yeah, but it's, it's like, it, this is like that thing, that catchphrase program, isn't it? Say what you see, say what you see. Something your own. Oh, no, there's a, there's a word in yellow underneath it. Something your own. No. Cheat, no. Cleat. Oh, hang on, what's underneath? Ahoy, then. There's writing underneath Ahoy as well. World. Oh, it's fascinating, this. Yeah, Captain Courage, you're gorgeous. Where's that one gone? 
I've lost it completely. Oh, no, there it is. What's that actor called? And he's got the surname, Labouf. This looks like Captain Courage, you're Labouf. Anyway, it's gorgeous. I love it. I'll stop witchering now. Okay, I'm going to waft, I'm going to waft, there you go, something your own. There's Captain Courage. You've... Anyway, let me know when you get the fabric home. There's a hundred nuances in there. <laughs> no, Hannah, it doesn't say that. Captain Courage, you're in there. Honestly. <laughs> boats, I'm moving on to boats now. What time is it? Oh, it's nearly going home time. I'm not in tomorrow. It's funny, I've just got back into the swing of it and I'm off again. Oh, I've got really interesting things to do on my days off. I'm having my nails done. And I'm having, uh, oh, no, I'm having an electrical facial. Where they put, they put this, they put this, um, put lots of vitamins on your face. And they cover you in, like, this, like, gel, which goes like a, a, a mask. And then they attach electrodes and send electric shocks through your face. Is it working? <laughs> yes. I love this fabric. Uh, from a distance, I'm not 100% sure, but close to like that. Look at the portholes. They're all a bit wobbly on that one, aren't they? I was watching, um, uh, you know Derek, who's sometimes on here, he also does a cruise show, doesn't he, selling cruises. And um, I was watching the other day, and this cruise ship that isn't even built yet. It won't be ready until 2019, but they're selling holidays on it, right? It's all facial recognition. So to get on the boat, in your room, anything like that, it's all... Um, but then there's this big glass room that's like the length of the ship that goes up and down, like that on the outside. It's incredible. So you can, see, well, so you can have the water splashing up against you, I suppose. I don't want that. It's got everything going on it. And it was, like, was like an amazing price, seven days for like 12,000 pounds or something. It wasn't that much. Uh, fishes. Swim, little fish, swim, swim, swim. What song's that? I think it's, I think it's um, somebody like, what was that man that was in The Goons, not Harry Seacombe? Spike Milligan, that kind of thing. Or Michael Benteen or something. I don't know. I could be talking through the top of my hat. Six ninety nine. I love this one. I'm surprised. Now this one is popular, but not as popular as the boats or the bottles. Oh, bottles has gone. Since it says Captain Courageous, you're gorgeous. I like. Look at all the different fishy scales. Oh. Where? Oh, yeah. Well, the guppies, they're like guppies, aren't they? They don't fit. Where are you? <laughs> it's on a different camera, isn't it? Normally, I go like this and I point things, but I couldn't find where they were. There. He's there. Are you there? Um, anyway. I like that one. They go all oh, in every different direction. Look, this is top to bottom. They'd be very confused. It wouldn't be like wouldn't be happening like that on Blue Planet, would it? It's called Seaside. And then I can't read the of the pattern. Six ninety nine. It's lovely, isn't it? Half a meter. Okay, I'm going back now. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. They did one on um, comic relief or something. Uh, children in need, didn't they? This week. I oh, was they? Uh, did you know I won um, a celebrity uh, weakest link? Yeah. And then I went back. And then uh, that, well, some of the questions were really difficult, and some of them were like really easy. Um, do what? Yes, yes. And then um, 
she, she was really hard. And then when I saw her the next time, she went, oh, I loved your show. I loved it. Does the leaves fabric go with the flowers and indigo with the leaves? Right, hang on a sec. So does the leaves fabric go with the flowers? Who's this for? Oh, it just says customer. Thanks, John. Right, so this is the flowers. And... Oh, thistle! No, that's exactly what I'm thinking of. Why was I saying clover? I don't know. Nobody... They're all picking on me now. I, exactly, thistle. Um, right, so there's the flowers. There's the leaves. I like those two together very much, but it's, it depends what you're going to make and if you like a lot of pattern. <coughs> Flowers, lots of you got that in your basket. Do you, have you still, can you see that? Still see that message? Because she also asked what indigo with something. Oh, okay. So, th so first of all, this is the leaves. That's leaves. That's flowers. And then, would the indigo go with the leaves? Oh, I think so. But let me let's just double check. Nice, it's a, different, it's a different kind of blue look. So this is indigo, that's leaves. It's nice. I'll, oh, now, actually, do you know what looked really nice? Let me just double check. You see, I like those three together. So what I would do, it depends on what you're making, but if you separated those two, those two fabrics with the indigo, no, I haven't, I haven't got three graphics. That's flowers, that's leaves, and that's indigo. I like those three together. Okay, make sure you check out, though. Lots of you got things in your basket. Right, let me, <coughs> let me go back to the beginning. Start at the very beginning. No, I'm going to go through all of them now. So this was the first one, which we saw right at the very beginning. A very good place to start. When you read, you begin with ABC. When you sing, you begin with Do, Re, Mi. Six pound fifty, half meter. This is that leaves. Oh no, hang on, that's not right. That's not leaves. Blue flowers. This one's called. So we started with that one. That's got the very pale coral in it. It's got uh, olive in it. It's got ochre in it. Then it's got the blue and the white there. Jude. Oh, it was Frankie Howard. It was Frankie Howard sang, sang the song about swimming over the dam. That's right. Fish swim over the dam. I can't remember the words, though, but it was Frankie Howard. You're quite right. Fish swim, little fish swim, swim. I can hear him saying it now. I've got a very funny story about Frankie Howard, but I can't tell it on telly at quarter to 12 in the morning. <coughs> right, okay. Uh, then the next one was little uh, dogs. Lindsay, I'm new to the show, I love every minute. John's Grace, placed my first order today, can't wait. Lindsay, did you spend more than 10 pounds? Because if you did, you get these little scissors, free, as a gift from us. <coughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it. Welcome, welcome to the, um, where are we? Sewing Quarter family. It is like the crazy bunch, isn't it? Here? Right. Dogs. Hannah. So is it a Dachshund? What dog do you think it is? Is it a make-believe dog? Got no legs or arms? Oh, it's facing the other way, that's why. Well, the f yeah. 6.50 half a metre. It's lovely biscuit colour with the ochre, the rain clouds there. Got a message from Anne now. See, he's suddenly bringing all the messages in now. Thanks for giving me a laugh today. Ex oh, Anne, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Shed extra birthday present to have you on this morning, Anne in Norwich. How are you, Anne, my love? Happy birthday. Hope you're having a lovely day. 
Is it cold in Norwich? It's always cold in Norwich, isn't it? Um, it's, it's, no, in fact, no, it's not. No, because the last I went to Norwich, I dressed for the cold and was boiling hot, I have to say. Owls, anyway, I hope you're having a lovely, lovely, lovely day, Em. Owls with little flares. Would you put Vienna orange with this? I'd be more tempted to put port with it, but let's have a look at Vienna orange. Oh, no, that, that's nice. Oh, no, Hannah doesn't like that. Let's try port. Oh, poor old Hannah, her cold's getting worse and worse and worse. There's port with it. But I'm wondering if I'm going to take port out and I'm going to put flamingo in. No, maybe not. No. Well, flamingo's there. No, 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 no. I've got this um, uh, biscuit. That, no, that doesn't work. No, no. Okay, moving on. Uh, do you know what? No, I'll do. I'll do uh, that uh, lady, the lady with the big hair. The lady called girl, young lady. There's a mouse. Oh, where are you? Hang on. Little like she's going like this. She's going like this, with her eyes shut. Can you see it now? Can you see it now? That, no. With a zigzaggy dress on. I'm not quite sure why she's got an owl with her. Oh, the little dog adores her, look. Oh. Now he's in front of her, she has not walked past him. Oh, 6.50 for half a metre, that one. She's like going, oh, dog. <laughs> like that. <laughs> That's what she's doing. <laughs> oh, dog. Right, rain clouds, except they're not called rain clouds. No, no, it suddenly made a noise up there. Um, oh, was it over there? Oh, I thought it was over there. Oh, they are called rain clouds. I'm not as stupid as I look sometimes, am I? I wish rain was really like that, different colours. Yeah, but their droplets aren't different colours, are they? Or and they tasted like sweets. Six pounds and 50 pence for half a metre. Oh, you've only got 10 minutes left, Hannah. You're fine. When I um, judged Miss Great Britain the first time, um, one of the prizes, one of the presents for being a judge was you got a year's supply of Krispy, Krispy Kreme donuts. So you had a card that you could take to any shop that sold Krispy Kremes. You go, I'll have a Krispy Kreme. So there was no limit on it. They didn't stamp it or anything. It just had a date on it when it ran out. So you could just go to anywhere with Krispy Kreme. I gave it to Hannah. Uh, Hayley. I know. I don't know what I was thinking of. I don't know why. I must have been going to one of my health... Well, that weekend when I was going to a health phase. I think that was the Miss Great... The first one. It was the first one I went to. And everyone else... Because you have dinner while you're judging them and everything's all terribly complicated. Um, I love doing it, though. And um, I was thinking, I won't drink. I won't drink because I want to keep my mind focused on the job. I'm here to do a job. So I had my dinner and just drank water and everything. Everyone else was knocking. Aldo Zilli was there that year. And um, Ballantyne, the Dragon's Den man. And I didn't have a drink at all. And then when the winner was announced, I turned around and said, oh, can I have a drink now? And they went, the bar's shut. So I just <laughs> didn't have... I'd been wrecking really hard. Love this. 
Love, love. This is very elegant and sophisticated, this one. This is called Ray, Autumn Rain Stripe. 6.50. Half a meter. So the next year I made up for it and I was drunk by the starter. So goodness knows who won that year. No, but then the third year I did it. Was it third or the fourth year I did it? Um, uh, we, we, we voted in that lady who then went on a television program from, yes, yeah. Anyway, that's another story. Not going there. She did. She had her crown removed. Uh, anyway, uh, thistles. Oh, Michelle's asked a question. Can you put the girl with the owl, please, regards Michelle? Well, that's very posh, Michelle. Thank you. Not posh, polite. So, girl. So, that's girl. That, uh, colour-wise, I definitely would. Colour-wise, I'd definitely put them together. I'm just worried about whether the patterns would work. So, let's put a solid with it. Well, I'm saying solid. I'm going to put in a... Heron, that looks nice. Depends what you're doing, Michelle, my love. But they look nice together, don't they? Or, want to make it a little bit more girly. Maybe the tea rose. Does that, oh, that's nice. That's nice. Oh, no, Hannah doesn't like that. Uh -huh. That's the noise Hannah just made. Uh -huh. I like that one as well. Uh, just depending on, it depends what you're making, Michelle, my love, with it. I like that combination, that combo. Oh, look, that's nice. That's nice, that's nice, that's nice. Quick reminder, what? Whew. It's very rotten, isn't it? The what? Okay, this one, you need to check out your basket. Also, what time is it? Oh, no, I'm all right. You done the menu? Yeah. I'm not in tomorrow. It must be Natasha in tomorrow. Oh, Jennifer Taylor's back in tomorrow. Oh, I bet I should have rang her. She could have brought that cushion back. And who? Oh, little Paul's in as well. I thought you meant as a guest. Just because blind me. You need to check out. Loads and loads. You got that in your basket. Nice. Right, now also, I've got to tell you before I go, uh, don't forget all of our panels, Christmas panels for advent calendars, stockings. The three I've shown, the three I showed in the first three hours, all sold out. You can only buy them on the website. You need to go to the website, www.sewingquarter.com. At the front, you'll see this, uh, what's that called? Banner. That's it, banner. Click on the banner. Oh, click on the banner. And it'll take you to the Christmas panel shop. As you can see, there's, there's stockings there, advent calendars, bunting. Now, some of those have sold out already. Some have sold out already. Just click on them. They've all got 40% off. So if they were $6.99, they're now 40% off. Brilliant, aren't they? Anyway, make sure you do that. Make sure, obviously, you're not going to get it in time for the, to start your... Because um, what date is it today? It's about the 29th. Yeah, uh, what date is it today? Oh, it's the 27th, no, it's not the 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 1st day of September, oh no, you won't get it in time for, to, for the first. Um, uh, there was something else I was going to say very important. How long have I got, Michael? Oh, ages. Why, well, my, my clock must be very fast in here then. Um, what did you want to say, sorry? Oh, yeah, leaves. Oh, oh, right. Right, loads and loads and loads. You put oak. I think it's because Hannah and I love it so much. Loads of you got oak. Oh, I'll take you through the spectrums, actually, if you want to join mixing and matching. This is the ochre. Whoa, blimey, what's happened to that heating? It's gone. <laughs> it's not the dog. It, the, the heat has suddenly just taken off in here. That's the ochre. Yours won't have this pink edge. That's obviously just our sample from the other room. 
This is port. That one's port. That port, oh, port sunlight on the Wirral in. The uh, linears are very, very popular. This one's sulfur. Oh, sorry, that was port. This one's sulfur in the linear. Not the most attractive of names, but a gorgeous fabric. Mind you, sulfur. Yeah. That, well, yeah, that's the kind of, ima yeah, 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 no, imagine. I don't know what, sulfur as, on, on, as a substance, I don't know what color it is, but you imagine it to be that color, don't you? Anyway, um, is it yellow? Okay, where does it come from then? So I'm thinking about sulfur dioxide and sulfur. This is heron, gray in the linear. Four ninety nine. Yeah, that's um, poor old Tom. Not Tom Camera, but Tom who's been working in our main office. He's going, meant to be moving to Bali today to to, for, to work. He said, I, I, "I said you won't get there." And he went, "I'm going to get British Airways to drop me off as near as they can." Right? I was like, "You can't request. Oh, I'll just request stop. I'll get off here." And then he said, "I'll get a boat the rest of the way." And I was like, oh, "Okay." Uh, that was heron, and was an indigo. Indigo I was going to show you as well, wasn't it? This is lovely, rich, dark indigo. Oh, actually, it's, it's very dark on the telly. It's got the lovely two-tone in it, though. Oh, there you go. You can see it now. And it looks very dark on the web picture. But it is a gorgeous, like a midnight, midnight. There are no graphics for that, then. Four ninety nine, half a meter. Right, should we do the menu? Let's do tomorrow's menu. Let's see what they're doing tomorrow. So it's Natasha's back in tomorrow. Quick Christmas gifts with Jennifer Taylor. Nine. Oh, now doesn't Jennifer Taylor normally do the Shashko? Oh, and then ten o'clock totes amazing with Jennifer Taylor. And then at eleven o'clock, Tasha's got quilting essentials. So make sure you join them tomorrow. Uh, when am I back then? Friday. Friday and Sunday. I'm doing Friday and Sunday this week. Got, uh, who have I got on Friday? No, Sunday I've got Mandy Shaw. Oh, I thought you told me I got on Friday. And Mandy Shaw, and, and now Mandy Shaw on Sunday, we're, we're not doing Christmas themed, you know, like we've been doing uh, Christmas tree skirts and candle holders. We're doing things that you can buy people for Christmas. So there'll be ideas for the new year. She's in on Sunday. And I'll find out in a minute who I've got on Friday. Uh, oh, Hannah's not here on Friday. So I must be with little Paul on Friday. Are you in on Friday? No, it'll be. Oh, are you? Oh, you're in every day, you, aren't you? Oh, now, apparently, we're going to the Christmas market in uh, German market. No, what's it called? We're going for some breakfast and a hot sausage, apparently. Well, that's what Chris is going for, anyway. I'm vegetarian, so I can't. And I'm driving, so I'll be boring. But I will be buying a rock salt lamp, because I got one there last year with my friend Bonnie. Yeah. Anyway, I've, I've run out of time. Oh, yeah, here we go. Mike's so busy joining with the cave, forgot to count down. Thanks ever so much for your uh, company today. Make sure you check out your basket, especially with these fabrics in this last hour, especially that one. Uh, enjoy Natasha tomorrow, and I will see you on Friday morning at 8 o'clock. Follow us on Twitter for more inspiration, top tips, news, and share your own creations with us. Don't forget, shopping with us is easy and simple. You can just contact us at 0800 112 4433 and speak to our UK-based call centre to place an order or shop online with us at www.sewingquarter.com.